Welcome back, everybody, to the Ball Dog Live podcast. Cersei, Cersei. Today we got a couple <laughs> things in store for you guys. <laughs> Kevin Gay stand. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we got a couple things. With the fellas, in, we, we got a couple <laughs> things in store for y'all. We're already going crazy, but we got the small forwards list, top ten small forwards. We'll Sorry. recap our top ten power forwards since that episode got lost to, I don't know, fucking the internet yeah. void or something like that. Um, Voodoo magic. I don't know how. So many technical difficulties with that episode, and even on the upload, it went wrong. So, okay. um, but we can start with some Team USA stuff because that's what's going on lately. You're sorry, you're the um, king. <laughs> you want to talk about the the, the king? hierarchy in the team? I've seen yeah. people ask questions about who would take the last shot. That's been a popular topic of discussion. So, what think do you guys already, think? Yeah. Who's the go-to guy who would take the last shot? I, I think it is a pretty clear answer. Order, yeah, I'm about to say I don't think we can yeah, talk about it no more. Glaze we can just skip. We can just skip this. We can just skip nah, this segment right now. It's already, it's already been solidified. No, let him know. Let it's already been solidified. The, the king, the goat. They already know. They already know who was gonna do it every time. They try to say. <laughs> they try to say he's not clutch. They try to say <laughs> that he doesn't got the killer instinct. Oh, you do. They try to say, oh, no, I'm like, saying you no, literally no, got that nigga dick in your mouth right now. I see it. Got mama mentality, and they act like LeBron is just there, like, like what, like, like friendly. He's the oldest. It don't matter. No, but still, he's the best. It's not about not the, the best on the roster. He's a vet. Bro. He is He's the best vet. on the roster now. He's not the best team on He's the roster. He's solidified. He's dead ass is leading them in like three that categories. AD is leading them in the next three categories. Who is the best player on the roster? Joel Embiid? LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> you can only go Get off back of your passport. Go off of who's playing. <laughs> I think if you go who is the best on the team, you got to go off of who's playing the best of what we've seen. Yeah. And it's undoubtedly LeBron, if not AD. I think it's Brown. It's either Brown or AD. Anthony Edwards may be third. It's funny because he's not AD. the best player. Anthony like, Edwards is third. But he's playing AD if we're being real. He's playing AD, the best. AD because he's on both ends. AD because he's, he's, yeah, yeah. he's on both he's ends. But LeBron, LeBron has been pretty good too. But when you factor in, yeah, but when you factor in the clutch, yeah, when you factor in the clutchness of the games, you know what I mean? Then I think LeBron gets the edge. I would say that if it was just like, let's say they won these games, but LeBron didn't. It was like a more of a team effort or like whatever, like, and they scratched out these games, but it was like everyone was doing something. Mm. But everyone, obviously, granted, I'm not going to take credit away from people. Everybody is, is contributing. Yeah. Just not as much as uh, Braun and AD. But <laughs> it's like, if it was just like a down-to-the-wire, you know, a hard-fought game they win, cool, I'm going to give it to AD. But since Braun, two games already, like, took it into his own hands to finish the game out when things were starting to look stagnant, too, for the, in their offense and stuff, I think that he deserves the best player on the team title right now. Obviously, that could change. I don't think it will. <laughs> he's the GOAT. But I think he's just proving why he's the GOAT, and he's doing this at damn near 40 years old. I agree that he's playing the best basketball, to, but to say he's the best player on the team is... What can you? What else are you off of? Well, Hassan, if he's the best... He's yeah, playing he's the best, playing he's the the best, best player. No, I'm just saying, like, this in is terms like that, of individual skill or, like, you know, NBA level. But this is like that conversation when I was telling y'all that, like, Miami's not, like, the best team, but they're beating every team. Like, LeBron's playing the best. We got to give him the best. You can't. That's, but they were playing as the best team, so they were the best team. I don't think he's playing the best, for what it's worth. I think Anthony Davis is playing yeah, the best. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd give I it to either all of them. around, on both ends of the court, he's been extremely valuable, and he fits into any lineup, which is really mm -hmm. good because that's been, like, an issue for some of these players that we talked about, Joel Embiid, just not fitting oh, yeah. in, like, mm -hmm. being yeah. out of place. But Anthony Davis could fit in with whatever lineup, and I feel like he... I don't know. He's just showing impact. LeBron, like, don't get me wrong. He's doing it, but I feel like it's more so moments. And he's kind of been the leader, like the vocal leader. You know what I mean? Just but he is sure. leading in points. Yeah, he and is, like but... uh, assists and field goal percentage. I think. <laughs> is he really? Yeah, it was, it was like three things, and then AD is like rebounds, blocks. Yeah, he's. Like... I don't know. I feel like AD's presence more a little bit when I watch the games but i see what lebron's doing too but he's more like a Picks i'm gonna get moments. everyone involved i'm gonna do me what lebron's over here do. shooting like yeah. a couple games you saw like 75 he's hitting his like, threes though i'll give you that like he's hitting but threes. he's hitting everything he saw like the last couple games he saw like 75 percent combined like it's just like yeah, he saw he's 70 hitting. and then 76 or something like I mean, that yeah like, lebron's really good don't get me wrong <laughs> he's just going he's he's just going like astronomically crazy i guess i know that like defensively especially when it gets into like iso situations like none of these people could ever touch him yeah you know what i mean yeah. it's like it's where it's international game it's like at the south end of the day, sudan south yeah. sudan can touch him <laughs> not for real. but it's like it's just Wayne the fact Gabriel. that he's the one stepping up and not like other people you know what i mean yeah like like they're not having to rely on hmm, this is a good question demons though. like book and, and anthony edwards or let me ask you this Steph like, to close out a game like when it's when kd comes back do you think that hierarchy changes and kd becomes the one like in closing situations do you give kevin durant the ball <laughs> Uh, maybe so. it, it'll be it, no maybe. to like start a play no 
It's gonna be in Bron. If I want one bucket on that team, I'm but going to Kevin Durant. Play, no, like, I feel like they'll Bron will always have the thing to start a play. Two shoot it, two like two shoot. Last shot with no, the game on the yeah, line. Yeah, who are you taking? Bron's gonna find Kevin Durant. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but he's I'm, saying the last I'm not, shot. I'm not against like Bron like pass, kicking it out. You know, driver kick, just any type of action to get him open. Mm. But LeBron to start a play. This question has been like articulated so hard. Like the right. it's like it's like oh you know, whose ball whose hands do you want the ball in you're gonna say Braun yeah but the reason we say Braun is because he could do anything He'll make the in right that situation yeah exactly so, and no, that like, right decision like, may be KD exactly okay. no, maybe no, no. a pass say yeah. like there's like five seconds left on the clock Braun gets the inbound he's passing it right to KD to go make get a play and make a bucket to win the game nah so you think Braun will take the shot you think it's Braun yeah. if it's open. Yeah, I think Katie like, will be like the alpha on the team. And but take this question is weird. Life. This Maybe, question is weird I mean, for me because it's like, it. it's these are all the like, killers you know, in the like, NBA. Yeah. And you got Braun, KD, That's Curry, right. who's like, the top killer, like, top Anthony, alpha. Anthony, like all these people could do it. Well, like, if you want to go statistically, we're gonna we're gonna go LeBron. That's how we're talking about the hierarchy. Like that's why, like, oh, when everything, when you start feeling pressure, who do you go to that takes the lead? And it's been Braun for the last few games, but they didn't have Kevin Durant. And I feel like if Kevin Durant's the on the roster, the last shot. Would be taken by him. I think no. you're overthinking it though. Yeah. Like LeBron's just gonna have the ball in his hands regardless. Like, okay, they're gonna maybe have KD take the last shot, but it's gonna be like, all right, LeBron's gonna like drive in a kick out to KD or like get KD. In yeah, but I'm saying if there's not enough time in there and you need an ISO, it's going straight to Kevin Durant. Well, whoever's open, if if they if they're like double, like that, bro, if they're like doubling Kevin or like, if Dude, I'm if sure everyone denying, will get a shot, bro. Yeah. If there's not enough time, I'm sure Curry can throw also, a fucking long. Also, what I the way it. I see it is like how many how many scenarios should this team have like in a clutch scenario? I don't. They I shouldn't. Hope, Very few. That's what I'm. That, like, exa- I know we're debating it like in depth, but this team really should not have any. We can talk need. about it. Like the closer games. But yeah, the close the closer it should be either LeBron or KD in my opinion. Or I closer think. games like they've been almost they almost lost to South Sudan. Yeah, that was close. And that they almost good. lost to another team. Uh, after that, Canada? No, after uh, Germany. Was that the last team that they played? Well, they almost lost to a certain, another team and they're losing, and that shouldn't happen with this roster. So do you think really it's going to be like bro. closer games now or they're going to like lock bro. in and blow these teams out? I think when the games start to matter, they're going to lock in. Yeah, the, I think the next game is on Sunday, the actual Olympic. Yeah, I feel like they'll, they'll, they'll get their whatever. Is right it now, knockout now? Are like not, yeah. Is it grouping? Oh, no, grouping finished, but I'm it's not knockout sure, now. But these, these, uh, these games haven't like counted for the record, for yeah, the Olympic no. record at all. So. Also, can we talk about Steve Kerr being a terrible coach? That dude is not no rotation. Now you guys know. Now you know the story <laughs> that we feel every day and watching every game from him. We he doesn't done, have, we he has him, no bro. rotations. He doesn't know his rotation. He's just throwing players out there, finishing lineups, they have been looking he was bad. Just watching them boys shoot. The whole yeah, time. exactly. Not calling timeouts. It's a Steve Kerr special. I know a guy. Uh, his name is named Darvin, <laughs> Darvin Schwann. Hands in pockets. Hands in his pockets. Anyway. Yeah, now, now that things are getting serious, we'll see if he steps up and what roster do they choose? Because I'm curious to see who they play. Because like we talked about earlier, Joel Embiid not fitting on the roster. Like, is he going to start or come off the bench? If he doesn't fit, bro, you got to come up. You got you to put him down a peg, put him on the bench. You can, argue, start. you can argue that he's the best player on the roster. All right. I mean, we could argue, but. Wait, who? Joel Embiid. Like, he's not. What are we talking about? This was like not even top four in the league anymore. What are we talking about? Yeah, but who else is like top four on that team? Tyrese I'm Albert. taking Curry <laughs> over him. I'm taking LeBron over him. KD over him. Not in today's NBA. In USA setting, I am. In that's team cap, USA bro. setting, in I am. In today's NBA, yes, I am. That's not. That's not true because he literally averaged almost forty points. Okay, he averaged thirty-five. Yeah. And he can't stay healthy, and he can't p- get past the second round. Okay, but you have to take team. into account he's an MVP, and he's the last MVP that's been on the roster okay. since. Play good in the USA okay. game. Why are you playing the, good? He got an award because good job. So the dynamic is different. Thing. Gotta give him that. Put him off the bench. If the dynamic's wrong, and you're gonna, and it's your time to like make it gel so everyone wins. Go on the bench, buddy. Simple as that. I think you get your be on ego the bench. aside, bro. Take your ego I mean, aside. It's not up to him, but they're just using his skill set because I th- do think he's the best player right now on the roster, and you, him being on the court impacts <laughs> others. But it just doesn't fit. Best so. player on that roster, he he his like let's see, he's like a ninety five overall, but on that roster, he's like a eight, he's like a ninety or an eighty nine yeah, because, because he doesn't fit. So his role. chemistry goes down. Curry, like LeBron, KD, these guys are Anthony maximizing Davis, their u- yeah Davis. They're maximizing their utilization. That's why I have those guys over Embiid right now. So Embiid should come off the bench. You think it'll be cut? Or not cut. Do you think it'll be benched? <laughs> you should Imagine be cut. cut Joel Embiid. Yeah, cut <laughs> Give him. me your pass. Give me the pass for <laughs> over here. Uh, uh, I think he, if I had to pick, I'd say he doesn't get benched. But I hope he does. Me too. Yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about, Team USA. Because it's relevant. <laughs> that's the only thing. Le Captain yeah. America. We can, talk mean, about, uh, we can probably talk about the GOAT being the flag bearer. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, Beautiful. as he should. He's the oldest yeah. man on the that team, That was cool. Bro. He's Beautiful a leader, honor. Bro. He's the best player. Yeah. So we were talking about it uh, before, George you, Washington. before you came. If it wasn't LeBron, who do you think would be the captain? Curry. KD, for sure. No? I think Curry. I think Curry. 
Curry's like a Curry's like family the, man. The guy like yeah. he's always smiling. Bam Aura. Huh? <laughs> Bam. Bam. <laughs> Imagine you just see Bam with the flag. <laughs> or like Tyrese Halliburton. Just <laughs> the young guy. Bro, what is bro what doing? What about Drew Holiday or Derek White holding it together? <laughs> Derek White. No, if Derek Tatum held it, it would have been bad. That would just be a meme. If Tatum held it, it would have been bad. Oh, my God. The champion holding oh the flag, it would have been bad. They would have been, killed him. <laughs> he would have yeah. been dead. It's funny because it was just the most normal thing, but it's since it's Tatum doing it, then yeah. all the plagiarism is going to show like right. some president holding it. They'd have like the clown and call the soldiers emoji with the gun. Tatum as the clown. What the fuck? Oh no, we're cursed. cursed that one is... just keeps going off. Ah. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, uh, nothing else to really talk about. I like their fits today, though. Le- oh, LeBron. Picture. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fire. LeBron had the, the standout one. What do they call him in fr- in, fr- in France somewhere? <laughs> oh, Le Lebron. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron is French. Le Lebron. Le Lebron. Le Lebron. Yeah. It's just bread. He has the best. I saw um, Team USA did like. Who has the best nickname on the roster? LeBron. He's talking, King <laughs> James. James. This guy just glazed. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say that, bro. They said they King did. James. Like most, no, they said it. They did say Slim Reaper, Slim Reaper too. Slim Where are they versing? Do we know? Uh, Serbia. Games. Serbia. Yeah, Serbia. Yeah? yeah? But Dude, nobody even calls him Slim Reaper. Jokish? Yeah. Well, I mean. I call him Easy Money. No, I don't call him Easy Money, but that's what <laughs> I say. Just like I was so dirty. Yeah, that's the thing, bro. You don't call him. I said KD. Yeah, when I see him, I call him Easy Money. Hey, just like when he sees Curry, he calls him 30. He calls him, yo, 30, what's good? Yeah. What up, 30? 30, what up? How you doing, 30? You call him Kevin, bro. Mr. Durant. When I think about it, sometimes I'll call him Easy Money in my head. We'll go with that. Because that is so cringy, bro. Mr. Durant, sir. In messages, I say easy money sometimes. <laughs> if he's going boy, crazy. Easy money. Like you're tweeting everything. Like... <laughs> my boy, easy money. <laughs> Book yeah, does okay. count as a nickname, though, in my opinion. That's Even if it is half his Book is name. half his name. But you call him Book, don't you? What? Like I'm Book, bro. You don't call him Devin Booker. Okay, Devin. That, that's just a, just that's doesn't a short name. come off the tongue, right? Book, that's like, Booker. my name's De- Besman. Bez is a nickname. Bez. Yes. Mm. But that's a nickname, though. That's half my name. But it's still a nickname. They call him, like, sometimes people call me Huss. Oh, what about Wemby Wembenyama? Wemby, Wemby's a nickname. Wemby's a weak ass nickname. It is, but, but it is not, what it is. Is that not a nickname though? It's a nickname, but it's a weak one. Nah, it's it's, it's still a no, nickname because it's not even no because they add the e. It's not his name isn't the Wemby and Yama. It's still yeah. weak. It's just half his name. Wemby. Yeah. No, I like book, the Slim Reaper type names where it's like it fits the. Person. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But no one calls no, that's him that. What, no, no, I agree. That's I agree. Those edits, like the, those edits of him with the Slim like they that's like what up Slim like no. No, but I agree. Like I remember seeing if it's a nickname, you're supposed to use it and call him by that. No, but some people say King James to King James. Hello, King James. Sir. Yes, you, some people. Point, some people. No I've seen people say King James yeah, yeah, yeah. on the internet like at least. Introducing them and stuff too. Well, people on the internet say the Slim King. Reaper. The Slim Reaper. Yeah, like the they call him the Slim Reaper. Who? Who is the Slim KD, Reaper? Bro, there's edits of KD like that. There's people talking about giving the. He's the Slim. When's Reaper. When's the last time you seen that? But when they talk about nicknames, they bring they it up. They said it before. They yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. it. It's I've like, seen the nickname, but no one calls him that. The announcers call him that all the time, like when they say his name, like the Slim. I guarantee you, I'll find you, Kevin Hart. I'm the Slim Reaper. Like I swear, I can find it. Okay, see days, bro. Like. I mean, they I still call him that. He's been had that nickname. I don't know. I feel like Book is actually a nickname because they call him that. He's a Book, bro. Booker. That's so stupid. Get out of here. Yeah, Booker. Booker. Nah, but Book. I. Booker. I when is the last time you call him Devin? I call him Booker. I say Booker. <laughs> I, I do say Devin Booker. I call him sound, no, no, but I call him Booker. I call him Booker. D-Book is good too. Is that not a nickname? Okay, I mean, that's that's short. But that's Book is a name. That's just shortening his name. It is that, but it's a nickname though, right? Okay, but it's like LBJ. Oh no, I call him LBJ. It's a fucking nickname. Not because we're talking about like in the old, in the old. Yo, weak as fuck. What about Yolk? Like in the old NBA and like earlier on. The nicknames, like, I feel like meant something. The like, mailman. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. like, the glove. Admiral. The, the glove. Mambo, the king. Like, yeah, yeah, the black mama. Oh, they were all, like, Black yeah. Jesus. Like, everyone's <laughs> nicknames now, like, of the new generation is always just some or form of their name. You know yeah, what I exactly. mean? None of it is, like, True. nobody ever has a... Uh, I remember seeing, like, a thread or someone. Okay, that's, like, a this. different variation of a nickname. Though. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, seriously, me, but, like, like, it's still, like, nicknames now are just, like, names. You know what I mean? Just, like, different... Yeah, just based off the name. That's the fire, though. Do we call Fox Swiper? I know it's his nickname. No. That's a good one. That's a good Swipe, one. Yeah. Swiper Fox. Yeah. Or but Spider you, Mitchell. Like, no, I'm not calling Spider's him that. Good. But like, but it's D-Mitch. there though. But that's his nickname. Spider's He's also been around one. for Spider's a minute. Spider's a good nickname. When's the last time you call him Spider? No, but it's there. They I don't say, call no, him Spider. Okay. The announcer say it sometimes. But it's there. His okay, app is literally call Spider. Yeah, 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 that is a good one. And he got the whole Spider-Man I guess, but I just don't like refer to them as that. I don't see people in real life referring to them as that. But they're like, how that do I say this? It's like a new gen. I don't know. It's like a new gen. The brow, like 2012. I guess 2012. I see where I see your point. Greek Freak is a nickname. That's a fire. That's a Greek Freak. Well. Greek so Freak. After that. 
2014. Who's 2014? It's been like now? since like 20, like since like the, the Joker is a good nickname. The Joker. Yeah, call yeah, him yeah. Joker. Joker is Joker cool. Is I actually call him Joker. Yeah, Joker is cool. Cat. <laughs> Cat is just K. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> a, yeah, that's a, Big Purr is better. <laughs> Big Purr. I remember yeah, Purr, Big Purr was, is the best was, nickname. Was Porzingis yeah, one of the first unicorn titles to be given or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like actually, right? Like before they didn't call nobody unicorn, right? Yeah, that was him. Uh, Lin Sanity was barely, but that's his name. Okay, still. That's his name. Yeah, yeah. Who else? That's a good question. Because yeah, the olden days Lin did have more like one, actual thing. Human highlight reel, Vince Carter. Mm, that's yeah. a good one. That's a long Same one. With, uh, half man, half amazing. That's ha- yeah, Vince half Carter. man. Half Human highlight reel is Dominique, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, Superman. Uh, Superman. Black oh. Mamba's Kobe, as we all know. Shaq. Black Mamba's Shaq. actually the good. Diesel. Shaq the people has a actually call him the Mamba too. Shaq has like five. He's the Diesel Super. Like he has a bunch. Diesel is Diesel. Dwight Howard Superman too. But he's like fake Superman. Shaq it's like Bizarro. He's fake. Uh, <laughs> Bizarro. Guess, but that's not right. Uh, what else? I don't know. I like the, the short cool names more. The yeah. Flash, Dwayne Wade. Oh, yeah. mm, that was fire. That was yeah, peak. That was, that was peak. Yeah, the, the Beard. Fire. The yeah, see, that's one. a good that's one. That's a really, really good, good one. one. Have yeah. I ever even called him that before? Chef Curry. I know they have They've that called him the beard in like, in like, pre- like, yeah, 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 called that. Chef Curry's good too. Chef Ice Trey. Yeah. Or are we counting that? Ice Trey. Uh, Ice Trey. We got to give it to him. That's, that's yeah. his thing. That's his thing. There's a lot more. Uh, they need to start bringing back like the signature. No, but I'm moves. saying it's like no since like it since like end of 2020s, like like the AI. Oh, like like oh, a, there hasn't like been a, any good ones. Like a, a emote, a emote. Yeah, yeah, yeah new emotes. Like, we need yeah. we need new emotes. No, we got yeah. some. We got stuff. Oh yeah, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was two years ago. He still does it. King James. That's the new The new emotes. Oh no, bro. No. <laughs> Imagine he pulls that out again. What? No, he the should cat, like the. <laughs> he should oh, do like yeah. this, like some big purse shit. That would be his <laughs> thing. Scott, Scott. Has one. He has one. He's been doing that lately. Oh, the and he DX? gets fined for it though. Fine. <laughs> Anthony Edwards did. did that too. Anthony Edwards did it like a That's lot. That's not his nice signature. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he did the Triple H or like yep, top yep. tier. But yeah, they don't even pull him out anymore. Steph's. <laughs> Nine that was a fun, like the nicknames and the emails were a fun time. Remember they had the jerseys with the nicknames on the back? <laughs> oh, I ju- I, yeah. before you got here, I was showing them. Yeah, we were talking, we were just Let me find it. That one. Don't say, don't say. Like the, the ones are four. Oh, though. yeah, yeah. No, but, <laughs> not no, this the, one was they funny. actually wore not in the, the bubble ones. Oh. The, the bubble ones? Bez, you know what I'm going to look up? The bubble ones was fucking how many more on Danny Green's back? And it was how many more bricks can this guy shoot? Like, oh my God. So funny. They were that. flaming Danny Green, bro. And like the phrase will go with their play style, like no more. And it's like, please, MPJ, no more shoots. Yeah. Like, bro, I remember like Giannis's jersey had too many words. It was like a rainbow on uh, his yeah. jersey. Shay's shit was fucking like a Kanye shirt yeah. on the back. Like shit was crazy. Oh man. Oh my god, I gotta find him. Can we talk about how uh, Drake doesn't rock with King James anymore? What? He has a tattoo. Of what him, do you though. mean? He like uh, posted on his story, uh, SGA, yeah. Steph. And, Man, uh, who the fuck cares about Drake? <laughs> oh, for real? And, uh, I'm a one Drake. other player because you know you see the clip where like Steph said this is not the only song in America when they're playing yeah, like yeah, and, yeah. and then Brown was like oh, this is my song I like yeah, it. Yeah. So he posted like a story of three players that still rock with him I guess. Oh, that's crazy. So now he's beefing with Niggas are a bum. You can't beef with LeBron. You're not gonna win. <laughs> Education reform. Education reform. <laughs> that's the one I showed him it's before he came in today. The off-season content. Yeah. Right here. Drake. Hey, hey. I mean, uh, LeBron chose the right side. All right, uh, anything else for Team so USA? Bad. I think that's about it. I mean, they, they're they. When are they playing Sunday? They should win, yeah. bro. That blo- that close game from Sasa was crazy. It was it a minus like forty favorite. Minus- they're fighting for their lives out there, man. Yeah. Fighting for their next meal. It's a real dog. Damn. Did not know something that close. Time, all of us was in chain. Hey, everyone. <laughs> 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 that's a crazy Yo. smile. <laughs> Going. It's a crazy Yo, bro, bro, they had everyone with the jerseys uh, in the bubble, like with the names and the phrases, except Jimmy Butler. He had nothing. <laughs> Twenty-two. He just had his number, bro. He just different. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> Butler is different. I saw something about him today where he was like, he was getting in an argument with one of the coaches, and he, and he told the coach like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And then the coach said, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And he's, I don't know what he said to him, but he was like, the coach was like, "Uh, yeah, I'm done with here." Like I don't Jimmy, let me see if I can find it. It was a friend. So, he, he was on a bulls. Yeah, he just said here. I might have liked it. But Jimmy needs like major training. That's why I, I don't know why you were hating on him, bro. He's hilarious. He just does his own thing. Oh, yeah, bro, he's funny. But he gets like he gets put into these conversations I don't like, bro. Like about he averages like m- like r- like dude. Where he's been getting a lot of responses. He averages like something. twenty, and we're like we're thinking he's like good, bro. See him in every single commercial. Tyler Hero like, averages twenty. He could do it for the next sixteen years if he wants to. But we're talking about Jimmy. Oh, he led his team to the finals. Oh, yeah. It's hard. He did it once. Oh, my God. Yeah. Twice. Do it again. Oh, he didn't do it again. It's twice. And he's funny. But you like Ant-Man, though, right? <laughs> yeah, Ant-Man's him. Because he's a character, too. When, what is Jimmy's highest point per game season? Oh, like 22 or something like that. Okay. What's Ant's? 26. 27. 27. Yeah, 26. 27. 
Yeah, and still, Emma's okay, like, okay, Emma's so like, doesn't accomplish as much yeah, yeah, as Jimmy let me, did, let me read it to you. Yeah. Let me read it to you. This is what he said. So, Coach Fred Hoiberg says to Jimmy Butler, Jimmy, this starts with me and you. What's going on? Jimmy Butler says, one, I think you're soft. Two, I don't like you. And then, basically, he just walked out of the fucking meeting. It's <laughs> not real, though. Why like, does Jimmy do this? Yeah, I, I heard he was a menace. But That's such a bad thing to have on your team, bro. This is when he was so on the goals, too. So. I mean, if you're well, good, like, uh, 20, trumps like everything. 21? He's supposed to get a new contract soon, too. Yeah? How much is it going to be worth? We'll see. Max. We'll see. Someone will pay him. They're max. gonna need to pay him. Yeah. Someone will pay him, Max. There yeah. you go. All right. Good what answer. else we got? The the list uh, or what? Oh, I wanted to talk about um end of an era with NBA on TNT. Could be a good YouTube clip. I hear they're suing. Yeah, they are. But uh, Amazon yep. posted that they're taking it back. But uh, it's one more year. The last run for NBA on TNT. So as this we is know, the last it. year. This year. Yeah. This coming one. That's a dude. Freaking. I hope they just don't give a fucking say some shit on TV, Charles and. <laughs> Man, and you never know. This whole NBA rights thing, or like TV rights, is seventy six billion dollars. I mean, yeah, NBA is going crazy. It's insane. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a lot of bread. Is it sad? Dude, it Lucas' sad? contract's about to be half a bill. Yeah. Damn near four hundred something. But it's sad how much they prioritize like the bread. You know what I mean? Why? Because like it's a game, it's, bro. But more nah, bread but keeps it going. Yeah, I know, but still, like there always comes a time where shit starts to get died down because of the chase of the bread. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, unless they... Because I don't see them making a show that's better than Inside the NBA. Oh, we're still going to watch, though. Like, uh, yeah. But you never but know. Inside was like, uh, but Inside, it was established. Nah, it was, if the shit is asked, they don't have that anybody. The people everyone was familiar yeah, with. Like, but they're gonna, Amazon's going to have their own shit. It might yeah, be exactly. Exactly. Someone's like, I saw something saying they're trying to pick up Dwayne Wade and all the comments are flamed. They're like, bro, if we're really being honest... Hell no, we saw him on NBA on They're like, if we're really being honest, nobody wants to see Dwayne Wade oh, on, as a top. Up, like, I don't know. It'll be definitely the best but that, but Teague, it's weird because yeah, Def- oh, yeah. oh funny Lou guys Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because I mean. because everyone's saying like these guys chemistry for the past like 10 whatever years how many they were on there it was like it was like actually like cool like dude if they just it wasn't do, like it wasn't forced or nothing it was, I mean, yeah, we're born honestly, into it. if they just do Gil's arena like halftime shows I would fucking watch that shit. same like, here yeah so they could just do whatever <laughs> they'll get know. newer newer guys that are younger Man, like they did for football it's just like I don't know, think that should have ruined it like that Draymond Green. I don't know. Yeah, that would be good. I, I knew During he was going to be just pops He's actually good at, like, at an, analyzing the game yeah, and he's giving good. content, but he got a it's a menace, bro. Left. Yeah, he does have a couple years left. I wonder what happens with him with TNT being off. But, uh, yeah. For real. Uh, new era uh, of fuck basketball, Amazon. I guess, for us to watch. Yeah, fuck Amazon and Bezos. Oh, Bezos. So if it's on Amazon, good, oh, wait, if I it's on Amazon, Bezos can we watch for free? Probably, uh, yeah. Can we stream it? Hey, or bro, Twitch. Stream, Go stream it on Twitch. Anyway. Nah, if he, if he puts every, all the games... show the yeah. Thursday night game Nah, if he put all the games on fucking on Prime, I might take it back. Is it the show <laughs> where <laughs> everything's being streamed nah, but it's on only Twitch? Like, it's it's like some games. games. It's more yeah, primetime games. games. Yeah. I feel like there's a difference. Is it what? the whole game is on Twitch? Or like Amazon, sorry. Or the, the so show? Yeah, no, it's be no the whole game is on Twitch. The whole game or just the show is what I'm saying? The whole game. It's because they already had games this year. Ah, Yeah, the TNF games are on Twitch. So they streamed it on Amazon. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So but I'm saying, oh, no, I'm talking about for, exactly, for yeah. Peak. Because TNT was partnered with oh, HBO. Max. Yeah, yeah. So, but you have to have a Max membership. Yeah, I know. But I mean, more people have Prime Video. Yeah. So I see Max. why. Like, I get it. But they still, are. just like for the, I feel like the biggest draw for that TNT, like, was the Inside the NBA. You yeah. Know? So it's just like, unless yeah. they're going to, unless, unless they, <laughs> Amazon comes with a product, like, that's as good or, like, better. Like, I feel like. Do you think they will? It's gonna be hard to top uh, this, a show with like forty years of history. You know what I mean? Like, or however. Well, long something fresh around, like, could be good. Facts. Yeah, just have an open mind and see what's going on. I mean, bro, those guys are getting old too. Like, like they say some dumb shit too. It's not. They good do. Yeah, I mean, they're not. Like, yeah, bro, 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 they do not watch the game. Kenny's analysis, analysis, analysis is, like, is not don't. crazy. Yeah, yeah, they don't watch. Track, analysis, but, analysis. Yeah, they have, Shaq is just a rage baiter. They have like, pre-made Shaq analysis. Rage bait at this point. They have pre-made analysis. It's funny though. But everything, of course, comedy is entertainment. I don't think they're gonna like. I'm just talking about entertainment. No, throw Jeff Teague on that bitch. Oh, like, man, yeah. That would be fire, bro. He's actually good at telling stories. Yeah. Jeff Teague is a really good storyteller. Yeah. But they're not like, it's different. They're on like a pod, not like a, a night. Yeah, it's different. It's a different vibe. Yeah, like, it's a different, 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 like, different format. Like, like in a studio. Do, like the halftime report. Like Jeff Teague's like, yeah, so like, yeah, like the motherfucker have 48. God damn it, they ain't going to guard shit out there. He was hoping today. He's like, you know what? This reminds me of a LeBron story. It's like, Jeff, Jeff, you're supposed to read his stat line. He's like, motherfucker, you're doing everything. That would be hilarious. Lou Williams would be good, though. I feel like having enough, like, Swag, Mark Crawford. They should bring yeah, him back. That, he's he's been, he comes being right. funny and and having like actual analysis of the game and understanding would be good. Yeah, yeah. we'll Hopefully see. Well, I hope I do hope they do Can't something good. No. But everything has to come to an end because these got those guys are getting older too, and then yeah, who's I gonna take over? I want to watch games retired on their own. You know, like, huh? like, I want to 
him to watch games a little bit. Like, Kenny's the only one that sometimes watches the game. They'll have their per- opinions on Twitter or something like that. We'll see. It's not the last we'll hear of them. No, yeah, I mean, it's, the sure. last, it's only one more year, though, like, of that show, at least. They might, yeah, they might they have, have their own podcast show. and whatnot. Shaq's yeah, Shaq has his own podcast, own. Yeah. like, on every You always hear show. Barkley's opinions, too. Yeah. Barkley says he's retiring if they don't, if they... Yeah, I mean, but... If they leave... Uh, they Chuck, try, like, Chuck can do what he wants, bro. He's been yeah. in the game for a while. Oh, the, I think ESPN's having a red zone version of basketball, too. Ooh. Red zone? Yeah. I don't know how that's going to work. What's it going to be? Like a clo- like close time like, or something? So you, I guess. So like, they'll just have like someone just reporting on the biggest games. Clutch time. It's yeah. so weird though because for NFL, like it, stuff takes time to open up and then once that's it's time, they tune you perfect. in. But then like for basketball, shit is just happening like the whole time. Yeah. It's they like, have one for hockey though. I don't know how that one works. It's weird. Hockey so. yeah. Hockey's hard because so like, the play could just die and then it's on the other side of the court. It's, it's a little weird. It's probably, uh, probably going to be like crunch time since there's so many games happening in the NBA. Even once. crunch, I guess. Or if someone's having a huge game, then they'll have like, like a Donovan Mitchell 70 point game. They'll show that. Or they might just tune you in from like clip to clip. They'll have it ready. Boom, boom. It might not even be like yeah, live. Yeah, that's how people consume content nowadays. So. Clips, straight clips, and then all right, you're good to go. Move to the yeah. next one. I don't know. Yeah. but uh, I'll get it. I'll watch it on my ways. Good uh, thing to club from YouTube for a day. You guys want to talk about Skip being done or not? Mm. Oh, <laughs> fuck that nigga Skip. No, I do. LeBron, no, I LeBron outlived him. No, LeBron outlived him. No, I'm just playing. I'll leave that. LeBron's prime outlived him. <laughs> I, did that a whole, is funny. I did a whole segment on one of my videos. All right. Yeah, yeah, tune into that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right, I mean, um, it's just one. like as soon as – it's crazy that as soon as Shannon left, it was just like all downhill, like – yeah, I mean, you like, I mean, like the, no, numbers, the numbers, fair, the numbers they got were awful, dude. Paul Pierce yeah. is on there just saying whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, Rage Bakes. Richard Sherman, like, like, was Marshawn really Lynch on there? Too. Nah. No, Sherman, no, it was Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman, yeah. Richard Sherman, Sherman was like on him, there. I like Michael Irvin, too. Yeah. No, Richard Sherman, every time Skip talked, he was like, you're fucking stupid. Like, yeah. he wouldn't say it, but he would basically look at him like, he's disgusted that he's going to say I know, Shannon was like, enough content, and he knew what he's talking about, too. Yeah, yeah. It was good enough. And he balance. was able to manage like Skip's personality. The other guys yeah, just yeah. get mad at him and just start yelling. <laughs> <Bro>. or... Skip. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. Remember the freaking LeBron jersey with the goat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, dude. Nah, was, like, Shannon, goat, that's what I'm saying. Like towards, yeah. the, towards like the last half, like of the show with them two, like Shannon was carrying. Like Shannon, that ain't no problem. Yeah. Like obviously Skip like has his own elements and stuff, but Shannon like. Was what Amber was. They were a good duo. They were a really good duo. They fed off each other. They definitely did. Same with him and Stephen A. That was like peak content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I guess he just needs like another debate partner that's like coming up and will be better than him to be. It's crazy how how big Shannon got like afterwards. Yeah, it was bigger than his whole playing career. Yeah, it's like now he's and now he's bigger. Like his his media does way better than Skip. I think he's number one now. Like him or him or Stephen A. His podcast. (laughs) Club <laughs> is like one of the best podcasts in the world now. And then yeah. Nightcap too. Oh yeah, dude. nah, that shit. Dude, it's like prime time television. Dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, my bro, like pulls up in LeBron jersey. Like, like, people, people aren't that dedicated anymore. That's why I watch uh, First Things First because at least they still pull out like some gimmicks like that. Oh yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. Like they Nick still, Wright isn't bad either. They pulled out like they it's kept funny. calling uh, the Dolphins breakdancers because they would lose to like all like the uh, <laughs> the good teams. Yeah. Like they're just pretty on the field, but like they would lose to all the good teams. So they, they would eat, like. Every time he would say there were breakdancers, like, there were, like a trio of breakdancers would come out and start dancing <laughs> in front of the shit. Like, you remember uh, Chris Broussard's thing on James Harden going to the Clippers? Oh, no. Is oh, he the re- man retarded? He's the man oh, yeah. retarded. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was retarded. one of the most fun. That's what I'm saying. I, do, I, I watched it. Right? <laughs> and too, like, then Fuck. I was watching the vid. I'm like, and then what? Nick was like, you can't really say that. Like, Yo, I did like, a double take. Like, and what? I was like, nah, there's no way. No, like, like, the when I heard is, that, uh... I was like, there's no way he's going to get away with like, <laughs> or just like, didn't right he break it that. down? He broke it down. I, I forgot yeah, what he apologize. said. Yeah. He no, apologized. No, 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 not the apology yet. Right after he, he said, he did try to break it down. Yeah. No, he broke down saying, what he was like, trying to say. Him and go it, to the Clippers. Yeah, I know, but he said, "Is the man retarded?" And then he tried to like explain it, yeah, yeah, yeah. like in a way, like because <laughs> because oh, Nick was like, "I don't think that's a." <laughs> nah, but they <laughs> pull out they, they pull out, pull out that quote. They talk yeah. about uh, fucking Trevor Lawrence. He's like, "I think you meant to say educationally challenged." He's like, "So I have somebody on the spectrum that I know." Yeah, that part. That part. I have somebody on the spectrum that I know. That's a part of my family. Come oh, on, man, Chris. I yeah. <laughs> I have friends that are black. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I but, say uh, that. It's been a good run. But yeah. That's about it. So uh, then I had a game for us today. Mm. Let's do it. Uh, okay. This is a variation of Bez's current player edition who will have a better career. Mm. I did it for players under 25. 25 mm. and under. Who will have a better career. Yeah, that's currently playing 25 and under. Like <laughs> <it>. <laughs> that's funny. Ronnie. Yeah. Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, facts. I have one of these two, honestly. Ronnie knows them all. You can add yours to the list. <laughs> so the not, first it's fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> All right, let me do like a TikTok intro, I guess. 
Okay. Or Gabe, you can start it off since we're better at these. What is the qu- segment? It's basically. Do I read uh, it? Who will have a better career currently? Player current player edition under when it's twenty-five. All said and done. All right, guys, we're gonna do a ch- we're gonna do a little game about who's gonna have a better career when it's all said and done. That are players that are under twenty-five. That are under the age of twenty-five. There you go. Just cut it together. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, edit. Good edits. Yeah. W edits, W edits. All right, uh, so the Best first two that I have Best on the planet? is Victor Wembanyama and Luka Doncic. Oh, my two. God. Versus each other. Who would have a better career? He made this for me. Oh, my two. God. Who do I choose yeah. to glaze right now? <laughs> oh, my God. Bro. Oh, my gosh. That's who do hard. I glaze? Have some fucking dignity, bro. <laughs> I'll pick it up. bro. It's deep riding all you do. Intro. Luka has already made it to the finals. Who do you But he hasn't completed everything. I'm thinking. Yeah, he hasn't. He's thinking. But he hasn't... Uh done everything yet or he doesn't have any accomplishments in terms of uh hard yet uh, yeah, yeah, yeah victor yeah, womanyama sure. is up and coming we think he'll be a multi-winner mvp winner we already said he's a top five center and might be a top five player going into next season all so. time yeah who do you think will have a better career? He all could time. be a top five yeah. all time <laughs> hey, he could he could very well look at can too though good. look at can too he could he could, he could. He could. He could. He could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So bro think have a better still career? like 25 years old only yeah look is 25 exactly bro this is like Putting a subway sandwich and a jersey mic in front of my face and ask me to pick. I can't choose. I honestly you said can't two decide. Mids? Like, what are you saying? <laughs> Mid? How? Di- that is one of the best <laughs> American food, bro. I can't decide. I'm gonna go Wemby. Fuck it, bro. Wemby. 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 We've already seen what Luca can do. This is pretty much the upper echelon of what we're gonna see from Luca. Is he gonna average more points? Is he gonna do this? Is he gonna do that? We don't even know if he's gonna win MVP anymore coming up. But I can confidently say without a shadow of that, Wemby people. Uh, Wemby P. MVP. Wem- <laughs> Wemby will win at least around like you two to three MVPs, two like four or five deep boys. Dude, this guy's gonna go on a generational type run. I, you guys think I'm? You guys think I'm kidding? I'm being very <laughs> serious. That is not to discredit Luca. Luca could be a top ten player, mm-hmm. but Wemby could be a top five player. That is where I draw the line. I think I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna go Victor Wembanyama because I also agree that this is the best that we're gonna see of Luca in terms of play style. He can average more points, rebounds, assists, but how far can he carry his team or be the heliocentric type of guy? Victor Wembanyama, you can have anybody around him. He can play defense at a high level. He can be unguardable offensively too. So I think he has a higher ceiling, but just because of his capabilities, and I think he'll have a better career because of it, especially if he reaches the heights that we think he is going to. Which is crazy because Luka Doncic is like top Luka's three crazy right now. too. Yeah, I, mean, like, yeah. I want to say Wemby, but I'm gonna say Luka just to be different, just because I think he already has an established resume, so I feel like that gives him a good head start. Uh-huh. And I feel like okay, whose playing style will last longer? Like it really depends because Wemby got that frame that I don't know how long he's gonna play. Luka, he's not. That's he doesn't true. rely on athleticism. He could probably play longer and do more rack up the stats you know he started averaging 20 points since a rookie at 18 so you know so maybe Wemby. Wemby's peak is better <laughs> so, uh, so is Wemby's so like oh yeah okay. yeah I mean maybe, maybe Wemby's peak is better but I think if Luca plays longer like that could help him um it's good good analysis honestly I'm going to go Wemby because as much as I love Luca and I think Luca is a top three talent in the league right now yeah mm-hmm. um I know you said that the length of his career so far has given him a head start, but I also think in a way it could work against him because just from a just from a winning standpoint, like if in the next few years they actually like build a team around him and then he wins before, because I don't think Luca, it'll be I I don't see them getting to the finals again this year unless really? they do something. You know what I mean? Like they could though. It's they like, could. Yeah, it's, it's possible, but I think the likelihood roster. the likelihood yeah. of them of Luca winning a chip is still like low, just considering. Uh, how strong the league Slow is right for now. Wemby too. Yeah. Yeah, but I think that Wemby is also easier to like build around, and the Spurs are an, an amazing organization that knows how to win. It's won multiple chips. And over he's years, on his rookie I mean? contract too. He's on. Yeah. yeah so I think that we'll it's just we'll like see. if I think that I agree with Hudson when it comes to uh, skill set. Like he plays both ends of the floor, so that's obviously even already better. Like gives him yeah, gives him a higher ceiling uh, just off of being able to play defense at that level, but. It's like if he does that and they build a team around him and he wins earlier than Luca is currently winning right now, mm. you get me? Like, he has he has years to try and get a chip, and that Luca has already n- not wasted. Obviously, he has amazing seasons, but he hasn't won in that time. You get yeah. me? To be fair though, for Luca's standpoint, I don't think Wemby will ever reach the level of offense. That Luka no, no, nah, yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah. Even with his skill set, I think you know. he'll. But he'll average. I think points wise, he'll average some crazy. And he'll always not thirty two or anything like that. No, nah, no, nah, nah. I think he'll be like. 27 to 30. Yeah, 20, 27, 28. 26 to 28. Yeah. 30's hard. He would have to be a demon to get to 30. That would actually be kind of crazy. Yeah, then he'll be ghost status. If he, yeah, if he does, I mean, more power to him. I hope he does, but 
That'd just be hard with play style. If, if he averages like 26, like 13, and like six, imagine that's just crazy. With He's not going to average six assists. With like three win. blocks. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm, I think that if they start winning, if he wins earlier than Luca ends up winning, then he has like more time to. Get there. To rack up, because at the end of the day, like winning counts for a lot, you know. Yeah, it's hard because also too, we're thinking about Luca. Like we're not, we're not like Luca's a perennial All NBA player. Like he's yeah. here. Like per, like every year he's like in there, in there, All NBA first. You know what I'm saying? But he has like five, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so it's like I mean, he better get these deep boys like shit done, or else this I'm I'm gonna be it's looking at it debate. differently. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna go to Luca if he doesn't get like what he needs to do. Luca's gonna clear. It's him. basically like potential versus yeah, what's already here. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like how fast can Wemby get happen. to his potential? He could be Luca's like ma- like maxing, bro. He's he's hitting them. You said, like you said, second half of the season he went crazy. Of course yeah. he did. Of course, I, I needed to be like that and then some. Like yeah. going forward. Who's next? Who's All right, next? this is a good. He one. also played on the minute restriction last year. I mean, he's bigger. They will might do that again. You never know. Uh, Anthony Edwards or Ja Morant? You forgot about Ja? Demon home. Mm. <laughs> How good he was the previous season before everything and the incidents, but Anthony Edwards showcased who he was this year and. No, this and is easily give me Ant, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm just taking Ant. In my yeah. opinion, because first of all, the off the court stuff, which I already set him back a little bit, he got suspended oh, games. Yeah. They basically Accolades wasted too. the season. He's gonna he's gonna be looked at differently, held to a different standard. He's not participating in the Team USA stuff, so he's already oh. missing out on that stuff. That's two years in a row that Anthony Edwards has been there. He's. Gone further in the playoffs at this point already. Like he's the face of a team. Didn't they make the conference finals? Who? The Grizzlies? Warriors yeah. against the Warriors? No. no, no, second round. Second round. Uh, yeah. Lost to the Lakers and then lost to the Warriors. Yeah. Mm. All right, keep going. Yeah. Um. So I think that he's already has the off court marketability. Mm. You know what I mean? He's kind of making his image. Like he's leading a very good team that's looking to be in the, going in the right direction. So with Memphis, I feel like it's a little more in the yeah. air. Like the team's young, you know, they'd have had a good season in the past, but last year was kind of thrown away and it's going to be hard to build it all back up like that when the, the rest of the league is growing. So yeah. what do you like watching more though? I Jar. think Anthony Edwards. I think Ant. I think I, dude. Oh, when it comes to excitement, I don't know. Like that's, that is, that excitement's is like, a closer like debate. Same, yeah. Like, it's excitement's a, a closer debate. Sure. Like, when Jaw's out, there's nobody watching the games in Memphis. When Jaw's there, whoop that trick, gritty <laughs> everything. Like he brings the excitement, no, yeah. like he's the entertainment. Excited, he's course, him, sure, you know. But. Like when he plays, we forget because of the season. But when he's playing, the amount of attention that he brings. I remember, uh, I think last year he had like the most views for a player, even more than LeBron. He's a, he's and a Steph. highlight. He's, he's a highlight. A, he's reel. The highlight. You're not yeah, wrong. And he has a like in that regard. You're right. He is yeah. the highlight. But like and like the the thuggish act too. People like that. Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> the thuggish act. <laughs> 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 yeah, am yeah, I yeah, wrong? Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's not like a white man. Yeah. I like I, the way I see <laughs> it is like the way I see it is like when I think about this and I think about this like one question: Can and will these players be the best in their position in the league? Anthony Edwards is damn near the best shooting guard in the league. Can we can we say that? Either one or two, right? I can book, yeah. We can okay, we can. And two, he, since he beat Book, I put him above. But, you know, that's People preference, Mitch, right? Whatever you think. And Mitch, he's there. Yeah, he's but in the conversation. Is Jaw, Jaw going to be number one point guard in the league? He's in conversation. He's But he's like in the three to five conversation. He's always, his team's you know? always winning. He was an All-NBA player. He is talent. a winner. Yeah, well, yeah he's a winner, he's too. A winner. His All-NBA talent. He brings every marketability factor from, like, before no, no, everything yeah, happened, yeah, before, yeah, yeah, before every before everything happened, you could argue that he was the, the up next face of the, the league. It's People like, were buying oh, yeah, his shoes. It's, it's, they were sold out in five minutes. Yeah. Like John Moran is is him too. I want it. Player, but yeah, Anthony Edwards has a, be, a more well rounded game too. He does mm-hmm. it on both ends of the court. So I feel like Jaws like the Tory Lanes of what oh, <laughs> <laughs> basketball? <laughs> Who's Anthony Edwards then? No, but I'm saying like the Drake. Like, you know, how, you know how Tori was blowing up on, on, oh, on yeah, quarantine yeah, radio? Yeah, she was going crazy shooting. for him. And then he, yeah. <laughs> the unfortunate okay. with Megan. Oh, Just imagine, okay. like, John Moran on like, the Olympics You know, team. Ja was like, you know what I mean? Like, he was yeah, skyrocketing yeah, yeah. in popularity. He was getting yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. He was getting everything. Fucking, and then, I don't know. He's Tommy up there Richard, right now. Tommy <laughs> That's, that was the next one? Bro, that's just imagine guy. Anthony, not Anthony, John Moran on the Olympic team right now. You know how yeah, crazy that saying. would be like, too. Like, yeah. yeah. But I'm saying he, fucked, they, he, he, yeah. he was fucking around, being stupid. He fucked himself. We're talking yeah. about we're talking about like highlight. Like we're talking about player okay, like yeah. player comps. Player comp too, but I mean highlight I mean, excitement we take into account. Anthony Edwards has like some. Cra- I can give you like three insane dude dunks and stuff. Yeah. Do you know the oh, one yeah, that got was, overturned when it was like nuts when somebody's oh, mouth was a Caleb Martin? You know how bad that was? Yeah. That was crazy. But Jaws Jaws had one on the Pacers player too. Remember when he dunked on Uto Watanabe or is it no? It was Uto. That was a bad like. Oh, yeah. There's crazy ones too. John Collins too. Yeah, like, but don't get me wrong. Jaws had his, you know, fair share of 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So but it's no, like, come on, man. Like, are we talking Anthony Edwards era last year? Was that better than the gritty and John Moran? Like, this is a weird comparison. I, li- <laughs> I like it. Fire, like, I'm just talking about the moment. It's like, like brain rot. It's like NBA brain yeah, rot. Yeah, wasn't this it. supposed to be for like, who's the guy? Better yeah, career? Yeah, yeah. Like, saying, I'm, taking, I'm, I'm taking Ant for sure. I'm taking Ant also. Just to have that argument though, like when Jaw is playing, like basketball is fun to watch. Type of thing. Yeah, of course. And him and Anthony Edwards kind of have the same type of personality and, I just want to know, like, who do you think is hey, man, bigger in terms of that? Fun. It's about who's going to be better. better. I'm Anthony, definitely Anthony Edwards. I, I love Jaws' game, bro. Advocate. I love Jaws' game. I really do. Yeah. Like you said, no, I talk a lot of good about him. Even, like, me personally, I don't think guards can win you a chip unless you're, like, Stephen Curry. Unless you're Curry. Yes. Yeah, I know. I've so heard Anthony that Edwards is bigger than that. Honestly, and, uh, though, like, some of those Grizzlies years, I feel like if they had, like, a little bit better team, Jaws nah. could have still been the best player. Dog, I was hoping you guys lost to the Grizzlies, bro. That was a good series, too. Just a little bit more. You guys would have lost, bro. It is what it, it is. is, what it is. Yeah. All right, this one's a good one. Uh, we'll never know. Zion Williamson, Williamson or no. Paulo Bancaro? Paulo, Paulo. <laughs> Damn, that quick. Yeah, Why y'all say that? Why y'all say that? I can't rely on Zion to stay healthy. Yeah. Dude, forget like even if he's healthy for the next three seasons straight, like past <laughs> that, I can't have any guarantees. Yeah. Like. Probably. What if it does yeah. give you three he full could, healthy he could be seasons? Be an early retirement candidate type. Damn, of player, bro. Because right? Marcus Cousins type. Because Paulo's consistent. He's. Like been on every level. And took yeah. his yep. team to the playoffs in his number one. Season. He's like the prototypical of what you need in the number one Zion's option. Zion's never played you know? that playoff game. But Zion, Zion's generational. He not, is, but he, he is lives generational. up to his hype. Paolo is not generational. Paolo is not generational. Zion is. He's too old. Like I'm not. I don't want to like say his career is over. But it's only been four years. He's at the point where he it's to, like he has still going a yeah, generational health run. Yeah, like I'll take it. You don't see it. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Myself. Most like superstars and generational talents. Their talent is realized already by the time they're like 21, 22. Like, you're like, oh shit, this nigga is like a demon. You know what I mean? Well, but he is. Late, there's late breakouts, but. but. You no, know, but uh, yeah, there is late breakouts, but I'm saying when it comes to like generational talent. Yeah, yeah, facts. It facts. generally, like, because Zion was a generation, was seen he had as a generation coming year. in. He is a, he still second is a year generational, generational Generally, like, when people are seen as generational talents coming in, the, they, you can tell by the time they're like 22 that, like, oh my God. Like, but don't like you see Luke the at 22 set? was already fucking. You know Thirty what I mean? plus, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. People at twenty two, like by the time Wemby's twenty two, you he's probably in yeah, two yeah. years. Like he's probably gonna be cooking. Okay, like, but Brooke, Zion yeah. still has that capability, and if he reaches his potential, that's generational. I think like Paul is like year, like he, Gabe said, he's like a he's no, or regular number one pick, prototypical number one pick that should be doing regular he's number not, one. Pick. He's not regular. He's not generational though. Yeah, okay, but regular number one pick is like like franchise player. Just to put player, it into perspective, you know? yeah. Okay, but he's not yeah. generational. Franchise player, There's a bunch of franchise players. Zion already twenty four. Like, Zion, like, you can find John another Paolo. a franchise player, but he's not generational. No, like, but the same. Not the, you can't find another Paolo, but you can find another Paolo like in like but the ten same years. Thing? No, but the same you can't thing find another. Zion you cannot find Zion. Zion bro, come on. I don't know, bro. This dude Zion at this point, like I'd rather have Paolo straight up this year. He's reliable. Like right now, yeah. This year, yeah, hundred percent. But he could change. Career wise, better career. Like they got the same. Okay, like they averaged both twenty two points. Paolo averaged seven rebounds. Zion. Zion averaged six. Paolo averaged five assists. So does Zion. So like comparable numbers. Same. It's like but this thing. Even I say, we don't think Zion is playing to the best that he can. And of course pa- not. No, but Paolo's I don't still think gonna he get really better. also twenty one years fat. old. Yeah. So, Just because yeah. he's fat. That's the only reason too. No, I don't. The think only reason I'm picking this like... Paolo is because one dude's fat, bro. I hate this guy. <laughs> get in the gym, bro. Lose some weight. Because the older you get, the harder it gets. Who's better at Duke though, Zion? Yeah. 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 But like, it's the same thing for like my Luca. Cam Reddish. My Luka There's and Wemby play. argument, it's like <laughs> Zion has already pretty much wasted a bunch of years being like hurt or just like not that fat. good and yeah, fat <laughs> and missing the playoffs. Like in two years, Paolo elevated his team from the bottom no, no, of the barrel. Hey, you want to hear a crazy stat, bro? Uh, the playoffs already. You Paolo, know I mean? Paolo already played 152 games. Oh, Zion no. in four years played 180. Oh my God. So. Right, four, you're not, you're four, not five years. What if? You what did if, it what if he gets it right? Is he generational? What if he plays? Is he generational? Is he generational though? I'm giving up. I, I think going into this season, not that I'm giving up on him, just like playing. I think he'll still play. My last but I don't chance. think he's gonna be a generational. He'll be more mid than generational. If he's bad he'll be like this a good year, player, I feel like we need to stay healthy this year. That's the big thing. The video right there for you. What could have been the downfall of Zion? No, this video could be insane. Zion Williamson could be insane. Like he can get so much I don't think he's getting back to 27. He should, though. Why we'll not? Because he was healthy last year. He wasn't even close. No, but at his best, at his peak, he should be averaging 27, right? Yeah, which he did. Higher. He's get there which no he more. did once in a season for 60 games, I think. Or yeah. 70, if whatever you don't think was. he's going to get there, then yeah, that's why we, we choose. Yeah. Zion, please, bro. But if I bought so there, much stocks, bro. I bought so much Zion stocks. Yeah, I mean, Paolo the guy, bro. Yeah. Right now, he is. My last one is the battle of the Tyrese's. Tyrese Maxey or Tyrese Halliburton. Who's gonna pick right this now, Maxi has a better chance of getting a yeah, championship I mean, with the roster that he has. Uh-huh. 
Halley, Pacers. I don't think they'll get back to that conference finals, but he is a really good player. So. Yeah, he is. I'm gonna take Halley. I'm gonna take Maxi, honestly. I think I'm gonna take Maxi, bro. I love it. I love Maxi game. That's not know. the discredit. That's not the discredit. Tyrese Halliburton, a whole system, obviously. There's a lot more into it too. The market, like if they say, they say on the t- they probably won't be on these teams by the end of their career, but. How is capped and play style, though? I don't think he'll ever be as good offensively as in he terms didn't... of scoring as Tyrese Maxey. No, nah, he won't. But, he won't. But Halliburton can be but close. The end, I don't think it's that He can be crazy. close? Well, close, yeah. though. 21? I, I, I mean, nah, Tyrese What was the first half of He doesn't shoot it, though. What was the first half of the season Tyrese Halliburton was averaging? Like 22, 20, like 21? 23, 23, 23, 23. 22. Maxey was like, what, consistent 26 the whole time? Yeah, yeah, 25 with but, the yeah, I mean, Maxie's a better score, don't get me wrong. But he's like, not a bad playmaker either. crazy difference. Yeah, Halley's playmaking is valuable too. He's of he's course, it's, also, it's generational and playmaking. he's being the number one on a team like versus Maxie being a number three. I feel like that's going to go a long way if the team does well. But then, like, career-wise, Jermon Green's uh, career number three and has oh, four you rings, you think the know? fucking Sixers are winning four rings? No, just to uh, give you an example. Well, Maxie like, was a someone two-lap. Have a Maxie was a two-lap. If, if, you see the, if you guys think Maxie's going to win, like, four rings, I get why you're Because if he that. wins four. two rings, two, one, or, one or two one. rings, I'm and Tyrese one. doesn't. If he wins one. Even one ring, I don't think that would so Like, oh, yeah, he won a ring as a third option. If Tyrese third, he's happened. second. He's second option. Last year he was second. This year he's probably going to be second. Yeah, he'll be okay. second. And... And I think he's better if than I'm Paul thinking George. what I'm thinking, what they're yeah. gonna want him to do, he's gonna have to carry a lot of like stuff in the offensive department. If Paul George is gonna be reluctant, I mean, hell, in terms of scoring and carrying, okay, defense. but Play if he doesn't, guess, right. then Paul, then Maxi has to average thirty again. Like he no, 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 no. Joel Embiid playoffs. has to score. But if what if he doesn't? I'm then they suck. Average, what do you mean, what if he doesn't? I'm not expecting Maxi to average thirty. If these guys he are both average thirty, they got so much help for him. He's not gonna need to average thirty. If these guys are both number ones, Tyrese Halliburton is a better player. But they're not number ones, and he's in a better situation. Maxi is. I guess if you want to look at it like that, but I don't even see the Sixers being like, oh, they're that heavy favorites to win a championship. That I'm like, I'm gonna put. They're in the conversation though. I don't think the Pacers are. I don't think they are, but I don't think the market plays a big deal into that guy said like. They Sixers will always have a better chance of getting better free agents. And That's true. Yeah. So Maxi could leave or get traded. That's what I'm saying. And Halliburton like, could leave or like, get traded. So I'm a bet on a dude that's the better, better player, player right better now. talent. I'm I'm yeah. with you. I'm going Tyrese also. <laughs> Which Tyrese, bro? Halliburton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm also going Tyrese. See, I yeah, told you I call players Tyrese. by their first names. Okay, but these guys are both Tyrese. Tyrese. I, I've done this like multiple these times. These dudes don't have nicknames. nicknames. You have Halley, bro. Halley's not a nickname. That's what I'm saying, bro. Nobody got those cool shit. Like, all NBA 13 nice for Halley is already, anymore. you know. Yeah, he already has an all NBA. Uh, you could argue Maxi was good enough to get And he was the there. assist leader. Yeah, that's going to keep happening. Yeah. I'm going Tyrese Halliburton. What about you? Maxi? Yeah, I'm going Maxi. Still? I'm going to stick with Maxi, bro. I, like I do Max. think Tyrese is like. Max got the sportsmanship overall. award. <laughs> I don't know. It says it on. Uh, no, I think Halley. I mean, Halley's a better player section. overall, but I think that uh, like situation. The situation matters a lot. And it's but like they're both going to get to pay the same amount of bags. Yeah, yeah, right. So, I mean, that matters in team construction. No, no. Oh, Max, yeah, you already got a bag. About, yeah, and Halley's going to get his. Halley yeah, already got his. Like I said, the market. Like Philly's a much bigger market. I think so. Philly will probably always be decent. Like, yeah. From now on, I don't think they ever go back to not ever. Obviously, they may, but no, nah, that was pretty bad. Not, bro. They're not going back Process. to you know, like the, the fourteen and fifteen days. Like that was bad. That was bad. Maybe you never know, bro. Yeah, that's the uh, last player on my list. If you wanted to say, say you have any years? No, 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 I don't. I don't. 12. All right, we can do the top ten. Let's players. do the list. Let's go to the list. Top ten. Fly through it real fast. Everybody say it once they turn. You got the power forwards. Y'all got. Oh yeah, let's do that. Just read them out. We don't gotta discuss them. All right, so these are. These are my top 10 power forwards in the NBA 2024. At 10, I got Jalen Williams. Nine, Julius Randle. I forgot he was there. Eight, Pascal Siakam. Seven, Laurie Markkinen. Six, Paul George. Five, Paolo Banquero. Four, Zion. Three, Tatum. Two, KD. And at one, Giannis. Uh, I had 10, Cat. Nine, Laurie. Eight, Siakam. Seven, PG. Six, Paolo. Five Randall, four Zion, three Tatum, two KD, one Giannis. Uh, ten I had Laurie Markin in, nine PG, eight Cat, seven Pascal Siakam, six Paolo Bencaro, five Zion Williamson, four Julius Randall, three Jason Tatum, two KD, one Giannis. You did us had Randall at four. Yeah. All right. Uh, ten. I have Randall. <laughs> Nine. I have Laurie. Eight. I have Siakam. Ten. Seven is Cat. Six is PG. Five is Zion. Four is Paolo. Three is Tatum. Two is KD. And number one is Giannis. We argued these for a minute too. Yeah, yeah. I know what I say. You can get that on our Patreon. Imagine <laughs> on our Patreon. 
I don't really fans. BTS. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, yo, fans, fans, leave, fans, leave, fans, leave. Well, only fans. Started off supposed to be like Patreon, it just oh, yeah, not that. Yeah, and yeah, it went to it went the wrong yeah, way. It went the wrong way. Different Jesus direction. For other things. <laughs> All right. It was supposed to be for actual fans, like <laughs> only fans. I guess. I mean, they got real fans too. They fans are probably crazier than ours. <laughs> too bad, so. too bad All right, top ten. Way more than yeah, 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 yeah. y'all <laughs> tripping, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, top man, ten. If y'all see me on this podcast, you didn't see me, bro. <laughs> Uh, All right, uh, I can start. Number 10. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got honorable going, mentions on the list, oh, yeah. bro. I got to shout out some Talk about fault. it. Do an intro. Do an intro. Okay, so do intro. these are the top 10 small forwards in the NBA in 2024. Let's start off with our honorable mentions. I have some. Okay, relax, bro. <laughs> Damn. Calm down. Sure. Calm down. You get, you'll get your chance. <laughs> All right. I got two honorable mentions. Uh, couldn't make my, my list, but I do like them. First, I got Jaden McDaniels. The Ooh. boy is a lockdown defender. Um. I think he has untapped potential offensively. He could be a hidden gem for the... Well, he is a hidden gem already for the Minnesota Timberwolves, but in terms of actually contributing to a championship, I feel like he is one of their biggest pieces that is not a star. So I wanted to give him some love because I feel like he had big offensive games in the playoffs, and we already know what he could do defensively. Yeah. Second honorable mention is an up-and-coming player. I'm going to guess it. Should I guess it? No, don't guess All it. Right. <laughs> East? Up-and-coming player in the Eastern Conference. He, had a rook- he was just a rookie, underrated rookie season. Is Brandon Miller of the Charlotte Hornets? Good one. So nice. I got it. Okay. He actually made my list. Oh really? Okay. That's um, bad. Yeah, I just <laughs> he said that's bad. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I just think he had a really good rookie season. Showed what he could do uh, offensively. I feel like he could potentially even be the number one option at one point, just because Lamelo can't stay healthy. So <laughs> you can rely on Brandon Miller. He has all the tools, like a baby PG. Yeah. So I definitely see it. Mm. Um, I just think the Hornets are going to be very relevant next year still. I think he still has a couple. Irrelevant or relevant? Irrelevant. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and I nice. still think he has a couple of things he needs to improve on, particularly in, like, playmaking. But I still see him having a better year next year. I think he's going to slowly climb up this list as his career goes on. I'm okay. very confident in him, but I just think he's not there yet compared to these other yeah, guys. The Hornets have been at the same level for damn near a decade. Yeah, right? yeah. so, I, I mean, they don't have good management, not good coaching. How many guesses, like, Chris Paul? Campbell Walker, I guess. That's not even nah, there. <laughs> Eight yeah, no, it's not the same, like yeah, it's not even the same yeah. franchise. Yeah. Huh? That was the Pelicans. Oh, yeah, right. New Orleans Pelicans. Damn. So, those are my honorable mentions. Charles Go ahead. Can't win. No matter who's there. Yeah, Go ahead, right. Gabe. I have one honorable mention, but I have the same two as Bez. But oh, under yeah. those guys, I want to add an under. Uh, Jalen Johnson. He also had a very good year. So, I wanted yeah, to he, shout him yeah, out. He just didn't play. But he didn't make. Years. But he did good. He had a very good sec. Is it second or third year for him? Third year. Third. He had a very good bouncing bounce back year. So just want to shout that out. Actually, right, sorry, ten, but he, yeah, he, just he has 16 and 7. He's going to be really good. But he's more of a power forward to me, so I didn't even want to put him on here. Yeah, yeah. same here. Right. Even though he is listed as small. Start out soft, Gabriel. Yeah, give us your 10 then. Me? Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. let's start over there. I just gave I just no, gave no, what you mean, chance. bro? I just no, gave I the honorable mention. Why are you mention. nervous, bro? Yeah, we can start I ain't nervous, man. man. I can start. Shit. Same right. with your chest. We want to do this? We want to do this right now? All right. Yeah, number 10. Let's go. Oh, hold Jews on. My list got fucked up by Jimmy Butler. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, hold on. It actually got fucked up. No, no, no. Don't dodge, bro. Did it, did it, did it. No, did it, did it. <laughs> oh, we'll wait for you. We'll wait for you. No, no, no. I'll go. I'll go. Wait, I have, a, I have a dishonorable mention. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, hey, Miles, hey, Bridges. Hey, Miles Bridges. <laughs> Miles Bridges. Wait, what? He's a dishonorable? Yeah, yeah. dishonorable mention. Uh, for all you nigga. reasons. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Keep your hands to yourself. Stop Yes, keep your hands to yourself. You're lucky you're back in the league. I can't believe you're back in the league, uh, but you have some hoop skills. So good for you. he's very good. Everything, good for you. So if if you actually were to actually not be a piece of shit, we would uh, put you on this list because you're good enough Facts. to talk, be a top ten. Talk but that shit. He's, he's not on your list. <laughs> No, guy, you better not be here. No, list. hell no. Hey, no, who is number 10 for you? I don't care if you have Read your <laughs> list right now. I don't care if you have just 10 to 1. He can't be on the list. 10 to 1? He, he, can't, be on the, he can't be on the list even if he's average. No, this list is fucked, guys. I'm not <laughs> no, 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 read this shit. I want to No, I have like 13 right now. Hold on. I added a few players. <laughs> no, which you mean you added a few players? Because we your talked. 10. We talked about it. I had to add a few players. bro. I need to hear this now. Miles was in there, so I got to delete him. evil niggas in the team. I got to delete him. No, no, you got to read your list with Miles. Where was he at? No, but I got 13. Where was Miles at? Miles was what, what number Miles was, he was what number was he at? He was kind of in the middle. No, tell me what number he was. He was Just like straight. seven, eight, seven, no bro. Oh you seen that shit where he was like, oh, like I was attracted to the Clippers because it seems like they they give are players second chances. Yeah, it's like oh. a chance. Like, I'm like, he's got fucking the convict Clippers. Like, Hornets paid him a good amount of money too. Yeah, I, I, yo, I, go I, first. Oh my, go first. Go no, my, go you first. gotta. Nah, bro. I might go first, bro. I need to hear his ten first. It's not bad, bro. We need to hear your ten. We're not gonna continue. Na, All right. Na, na, Stay with your na, chest. Na, you can na, take time. But so am I taking Miles Bridges off my list? 
It's, it's up to you, bro. Be on your care. list, honestly. You don't no, think no, so? No, no, don't he also didn't him. play last year. He has his own like, morals. You don't think he, he should play? He played pretty well last year. Oh yeah, yeah huh? he did play like towards the end. I forgot. He no, almost like thirty games. Like eight games or something. No, I got deleted no, him. If y'all don't have him, no, I missed the other season. Yeah, I'm gonna take him off. I'm gonna take him off. He didn't play last. I mean, he didn't play the whole season last year. You missed like eight games. It wasn't only eight. It was. Yeah, because really, you missed the whole. He played a lot. He played a lot on the Hornets. Yes, bro. Wait, hold on. Let me see this <laughs> guy's You don't like, watch ball. Here, you guys I'm go not watching Hornets. Let's go first. first. He Let's played go first, 69 my guy. games last year, brother. All right, whatever. I'll go first. Oh, uh, maybe no, I'll no, take Come on. What do you year. mean you go first? He's ready. Why are you taking so long? I don't know. I took him off. Just say it. Say it. number 10. What's your chest? They're going to take him off the list, too? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, I want to hear Okay, it, okay. I need number 10 is OG Ananobi, I have. Okay. Okay. You want to give your reasoning? No, nah, not really. Okay, okay. Give your number <laughs> All 10. All right, number 10, I also have OG Ananobi. See, I'm double, you guys. He's in the shed. <laughs> I have 10? a good reasoning Tweak. for him. Uh, I think he's a good player, but I feel like people on the list obviously are better than him. What? But because what? he's capped, I think he's just capped at a great 3 and D player. There's a reason why uh, the Raptors wanted to give out five first-round picks or wanted five first-round picks for him. But uh, I feel like he can only do so much for your offense. And uh, he's a role player, but... He's, he is a role player, and there's other role players on this list that play their role, role very well, but I feel like these other guys can be better at doing their role than him. He averaged sense. 15 points on 49% field goal and 38% from three while playing defense. So, you know, that, that does explain a lot. He's, he's very good. Yeah, I think he's just capped at certain uh, yeah. capabilities. I'm curious to see you guys have above him, but yeah. I might say I have Keegan Murray. Yeah. Oh, really? He didn't make yeah. minor yeah. yeah, Keegan Murray is on my list. I think he's going to be the key piece for the Kings. He's going to have to be their best defender. He could hit threes. He's actually, I believe he's setting records for like mo- least amount of games to hit a certain amount of threes. He's yeah. been going crazy. Mm-hmm. Had multiple 40-point games last Killed year. Killed the Warriors at the, our last game. Yeah, man. he's just a really good player. I think he's going to have another step-up year this year. I think he's super underrated. Perfect role player for them. And he's going to be super relied upon on the Kings. So I got him at number 10. I think he's... Not bad. Yeah, you guys. Still leaving little, on him, but that's, little, that's my guy. Yeah. I feel like next year, for sure. But uh, ten, I got Kuz. I feel like everybody forgets about Kuz. I didn't even add he him didn't on make my list. my list, bro. He did not make my he list. Definitely, I mean, he's I like Kuzma. Obviously, the obviously the, Kuzma. Obviously the Wizards Kuzma. stink, but yeah. Kuz is over there averaging twenty-two. You know, getting, getting his buckets. Yeah, I mean, there's other people on bad teams too. You just have Brandon Miller. Oh yeah, he's a, he a young. He, one. Yeah, he's, he's, but I'm saying if we're going off of stats and like what people are doing. Kuz had a, like an underrated year last year. Just being on team, he could be a power forward too. Not gonna lie to he you. Is a power forward. Is Whoa, he? he was on the what's called list for me. So you can have him. It don't you, matter. You check basketball yeah, yeah, reference or what? Nah, He's on ESPN. On, uh, ESPN. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah, it is what it is. But it's just it's just Kuz. I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't I have that's, a, that's a waste so. of a slot in my opinion. But not really. I mean, I still think he's better than. Currently better than Keegan. I, I think Keegan will be bro. better. But I think Keegan Murray's already better. He's yeah. a better I think defender. Uh, Kuz, like, he's he's a like, better Kuz, shooter right now. You think Kuzma's worse than Murray? No, I, I'll take Kuz. Kuzma's yes. better than Murray right no, now. No, no. I'll take Kuzma right now. He showed Murray's on the Lakers. Than, no way. Did he average like 35%? Uh, not last season. What did he do? I still think Kuzma can be he a good three on a great team. He's a good team. Yeah, meaningless basketball. Okay, if Kuzma's on a better team, he may average a little less, but he still be a contributing piece If he was on the Mavericks, I think it would be better. Keegan Murray's a better role player than Murray. So if you put Keegan Murray on the Mavericks or... Kyle Kuzma on the Mavericks. Who's impacting the, the team more? I think Keegan Murray's impacting the team more. Defensively, just because of that, or no, Bo- and he's injury? a better catch and shoot shooter. Just to sh- like Kuzma's a better, Scorer. I can get get my own bucket type yeah. of guy. But if you're if you're looking for somebody to be a role player, like Keegan Murray's one of the best catch and shoot players in the league, best three point shooters, one of the best three point shooters in the league. He had a little down year last year, but he was still shooting thirty six percent. So like he shot forty one in his rookie year. Yeah. So but Kuzma's but one you, a chip being you, a role player. I understand but why do you that, put Kuzma was, being better by himself being like compared to a role player though? If Kuzma's himself, like players, if Kuzma's teammates. like if Kuzma's doing more by himself, why is he like being hindered compared to a role player? He's like, oh the role player can make threes. He's gonna, gonna impact he's gonna have a bigger impact and he's yeah. gonna well, ultimate goal is winning basketball. I mean games. he he's played winning basketball as a role player. He's yeah, played, that's he played right. that's not what he's doing that right now. If he was doing it like on the Mavericks and averaging good amount of numbers, we I don't think he still could do it. But he's I not think, on that team, though. No, we because can't say he's that. adapting like to be a play style where he's the guy. So even if he does get traded, he's gonna have to adjust. Like he's been playing for what two, three years now as like all my. I think he knows how though. He's better than Keegan Murray's like skill set though. Other than like the one, the, yeah, big, the rookie besides, year. Besides getting the rookie his own year, bucket, he, what is he better at Keegan Murray? Not rebounding, shooting. rebounding, okay. and then def- defending is relatively no, no, similar. No, relatively. No, no, no. I think Keegan's a better. No, defender. they're, they're defender. relatively similar. No, they're not. Way better. Kyle Kuzma plays winning basketball when it needs to be done. 
in terms of like being on a good team. Wizards just like everybody just shoots basketballs there. But. Maybe, maybe I don't know, man. I think uh, Keegan Murray's just. He just is a quiet. He doesn't have like a loud personality like Kyle Kuzma. Is. <laughs> Do you see his quote? Yeah, Kyle Kuzma, shows, yeah. bro. If, you see if his I, quote too. I, Kyle it? Kuzma. So you can't talk about basketball without me, or saying you can't oh, talk yeah, about yeah, the yeah, greatest yeah, basketball yeah. players, <laughs> like that type of shit. Without <laughs> mentioning me, like so Keegan Murray doesn't get the hype, but like if you watch him play, like I feel like he just does his role way better than Kyle Kuzma, who can take bad shots. Like he can kind of get in his own rhythm. You know I'm what I mean? Kuzma believer. I mean, but like, dude, player, but I'm Keegan Murray could just go. Keegan Murray could just become like taller Duncan Robinson. Like he could. What? <laughs> can't shoot at the same clip. Why would he want to become and Duncan Robinson? No, no, no. I'm saying he could regress. He could, oh, Duncan Robinson oh, okay. as in a good year last like, year, bro. As in regressing, he could just get like, like, okay, he's a three point shooter and a rebounder. Top, he's a top ten pick. Yeah, All right, and Killian Hayes is also a top ten pick. Am I wrong? <laughs> All right, what am I wrong? Killian Hayes is Keegan Murray. Keegan Murray actually showed that he's good in the league. Patrick Williams is a top ten pick. Am I wrong? There's a bunch of top 10 picks. Okay, but he showed that he's okay. He can play if in that grade. Grandma had he just had a worst year in What do you mean? He just dropped 40 point games and Dog, he had he multiple three point he, percentages. St- statistically wise, okay, he had he's a playing worse with year. Fox is he had a Sabonis. He had a. They played the same together last year, the two years ago. He That's had not a, true. Demontis had one of the greatest had a, seasons he's he, ever had in his he career. He himself had a statistically worse. Dude, if Kyle season. Kuzma was on the Kings, is he averaging more than 16 points? Probably not. 17, he would. probably. Guarantee what? He'd average 20. No, he would. He would get his own. 20. He averages only 20 on the three. Sabonis averages like 14. You act like he's not gonna do this. 14. 16. Sorry. Or what? 20. Kyle Kuzma yeah, averages 20 by himself. Bad. Sengun averaged 20, not him. Bro. Like Kyle 17. Kuzma averaged 20 on the Wizards. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so you think he's doing the same thing? So so it's it's okay, yeah, you average more points. 22. Huh? Yeah, he averages 22 on the Wizards. Okay, yeah. And that's he's with him being the number on one option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, gonna gonna av- he's a better scorer than Sabonis. He's averaging 20. No, he's not. Ooh, yes. No, he's not. God, bro. He's, he's only one basketball. They have a lot of competition there. Anything. That's the only reason. It's Sabonis. not against his skill set. It's just, there's a lot of competition in... in yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that in Washington? Yeah, Kyle yeah, yeah. Kuzma's your number one scoring option. You're the number one pick every year. No, it'd be like number two, three on the Kings. Okay, on the Wizards... I'm not saying win, dude. But on the Wizards, he's the number one scoring option and average 22. So he's not going to average 20 as a third option on he, another team. He could. He got, it's not possible. Look at your looks. De'Aaron Fox. Billy Malik, looks. No, you have other options that could score. He's not a number two on any sure. good team ever. Exactly. Like we, I think no, he's, he'll be good at, team. great as a number three. Well, there's DeMar there, so he'll be a three or four. All right, uh, we'll be at nine. Yeah. Who, who gives, uh, okay, so give your number nine. No, my yeah, number. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I just so want to bully this My guy. nine is somebody we just spoke about, uh, DeMar DeRozan. Uh, I think that he's still, Slow. you know, great player. Whoa, what wait, did you say Debo? Fuck? Yeah. Are you sure? That's mad low. That's mad low. All right, let him let Who's him above him? I don't know, but let me hear this. Wait, you went on ESPN, right? He might have, like, other people that we don't know. Yeah, yeah definitely. There's no way. Yeah, he's going to Because the small forward lit pool this year is, like... Worse. It's different. <laughs> way worse, yeah. It's different. I mean, I like a lot of the other people for right, a lot of other reasons. It's not always stats, but okay. DeMar is, you know what I mean? Like, he's in his later stages of his career. Uh-huh. Going in the next season, he, he's now a third option. He's not just a a uh, second option like he's been on the Bulls for the most. Damn near first option, pretty much. Since Levine's never there, <laughs> so he's pretty much the first option on the Bulls. He's he only averaged like what twenty three. Only. Well, but I'm saying as a first option, same thing. With Demar him, on a bad team. Demar like, played seventy nine games, averaged twenty four, four and five on forty eight percent shooting from the field, thirty three percent from three. Okay, That's and good. so then he did that as a first option on a bad team. Same thing y'all said about Kuzma on a bad team with. Uh, you know, nobody around. He's going to go to the Kings now where he's the third option. Points will decrease. Yeah. Clutch player of the year. CPOI. You know, he could. CPOI. Possible, but I don't think he's going to average nearly the same amount of points. Oh, He'll probably go down to like. Yeah, 17, 18. Yeah, like 18, I'd say. I don't think. Malik Monk's a dog, bro. too far under 20, but like 18. Forget about him. Yeah. His, de- he's de- his defense is declining. He's not all the way there anymore. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think that his impact on the game anymore is as big as it once was or as big as the people that I have above him. Hey, bro, so, bring your mic closer, bro. We'll see. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was so that. far. I, I moved it. Yeah, I moved yeah, it once uh, we got up. <laughs> caught none of that. <laughs> no, I'm sure. I'm sure. Caught it. Barely, probably. But, um, yeah, so. It was, it was black. No, I'm just kidding. I think that, uh, you know, it's it's more so, like, I respect DeMar, and I think if it was just, like, obviously, if it was all-time list, I'm not, or not all-time, but ranking his whole career against these people, I'm going to put him higher. But mm. going into next year, he's going to be a third option, so I don't think he's going to be – that high Good. on the small forward list. I might like your list, Amari. I can't lie. Oh, well, yeah. But well, all subjective. Too. We'll see. I'm going to give my number nine. Here I have Franz Wagner of the Orlando Magic. Good Ooh. one. I don't know if he made y'all list, but yeah, he he's number nine for me. Um, I think he had a good year up in his scoring average to 19 points on a playoff team. He looks, you know, he kind of had some bad moments in the playoffs, but he is their second best player. I think he's going to look to take another step. He's an underrated ball handler for a wing. You know, could play a little bit of defense, could play make. So I really like him. 
just being as the second guy there. He could do a little bit of everything, doesn't really make too many mistakes. So, I, you know, I like what he brings them. So I got him at number nine for me. Magic might, might shock us next year. Yeah, yeah. I think they're going to only get better. They got good coach, good players are surrounding yeah. them too. My nine, I have Brandon Miller. I think Brandon okay. Miller is Shit. up and coming. When uh, Lamella yeah. went down, he had a really good stretch of games where he showcased that. Who's he's, your 10? Uh, OG. I think okay. he's better than OG and OB okay. because of his okay. skill set, okay. scoring okay. the basketball, okay. the defense mm-hmm. that he could provide, and the potential that is like uh, PG-esque. And uh, I yeah. think he's the uh, next coming of Paul George. And uh, Is that a good thing? <laughs> he's the team. Depending on which Paul George. Paul yeah. George, they all got to have like in a line. I yeah. mean, I, I, I so see the like, potential, but I just think he's like two years away as opposed to next I, year. I think right now his skill set is uh, – not limitless, but it's you can do a lot of like star wise. He can play defense. He has a handle. You can shoot from uh, score from three levels. He's got the whole package. He's he got has the whole package. package and I, I think when Lamelo went down in the stretch of games that he showcased that he can be that guy on a when uh, not a winning team, but just the guy on a team that has potential and coming up. Uh, I think he should. He deserves my nine spot. So I like it. My number nine is pretty similar to Bez. I have Franz Wagner there too. Uh, he pretty much said all the things. Wagner. Yeah, Wagner, Wa- Wagner. Wagner. Uh, <laughs> but he said all the pretty much good things. The only thing I do want to talk about is I want his three ball to get better. I saw it was at twenty eight percent. He had a down year. He had a down year, and then in the playoffs, he also yeah, he had some bad. Games. He had some bad games. So that whole team I was wanted bad at shooting threes. Right? I know, yeah. but I'm I'm judging the list. So uh, hopefully in the coming years he does better. But I would have had him a little bit higher. If shot thirty six percent his first two seasons, so I feel like it was just yeah, year, you know. But uh, he, exactly. He, probably rely, he was relied to be on like their best shooter, pretty much. So the team's probably closing yeah. out on him and stuff. But they signed KCP, which is great. Helped them a lot, mm-hmm. and you know they got some young developing players. Man, the Nuggets got worse. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they let KCP. Yeah, they, they got Russ though. Yeah, they did. Oh yeah, they exactly. got Russ. They got worse. <laughs> hey, 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 that's a great play. Respect the guy, bro. But uh, Franz at number nine. He's and, like uh, OBJ of the who? NBA. Who is bro, what's rookie? Yeah. <laughs> nah, where? He's at this worse. point. Damn, bro, relax, bro. It's <laughs> over. OBJ is chilling. He's not like OBJ. Don't play, bro. Yeah. 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 All right, go ahead. Eight. Yeah, number eight. Let's see the next. Now, one. my number eight is I have is Michael Porter sure, Jr. Sure, sure. I mean, it's pretty. Woo! Cons- it's pretty. He ain't even make my list, Shoot brother. Here, bro. Dog. He's one trick pony. You tweet. A one trick. A one <laughs> trick pony. A one trick pony. But does it the best way? I love on, what bro. Michael Porter Jr. Yeah, brings. Exactly. He's like what six he only does nine. The Lakers. He uh he's he's amazing. He's not better sh- than Franz Wagner, bro. I'm sorry, no, he's bro. not better than anybody on these lists. Yeah, well, I mean, hope he dies. Yo, hey yo, my bad, my bad. Bleep that out, bleep that out. <laughs> I think we got two crazy <laughs> moments yeah. today, bro. All the emotes that are coming out. All shit, the bro, DLC sounds. Is- <laughs> and I start where I hit wait. Yeah. <laughs> reset, reset. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, no, nah, but he's 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 what I like in a role player. He does what he does well in his role. Um, and I I know that the whole argument if his shot's not falling, he's a liability. But I mean, I really like how he hustles. I like how he shoots. I like his length. Uh, I like how he's pause. barely ever the same pause. <laughs> Hustle, See, I didn't even think of that. Nah, crazy, man. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I like Michael Porter Jr. for those things, and I see him doing that at a high level for the next, like, foreseeable future. So man, they trying to trade his ass. You tripping as fuck yeah, for that? Man, I'll, be I'll an take honorable him. Mention. I'll take him, dude. I had him in my honorable mention. I'll I took him. him out because I'd be like, he's not even good enough. <laughs> yeah, to get. I'll take him. Pony. I'm sorry. I'll I mean, like, him. he he does things well, but like, he ain't top ten, bro. Nah, you know what I mean? Keegan Murray does things better than him. I like Bronze. Winter Pony. Uh, right, ahead, right, I have Franz here at eight okay. for the reasons Respect. that you guys said. Number number two option on a playoff team, averaging 20 points. And he's only going to get better, too. Top five seed. Yeah, and he's, he's going into his third year, six, fourth year. One of those. Yeah. And um, he's fourth just year. he's just going to get better over time. And he got his contract, too, now. So we'll see what happens with him. But, yeah, you guys pretty much stated everything that needed to be said. Okay, that was your number eight. Yeah. At eight, I have OG Ananobi here. This is Ooh, where I high. think. He's out. I don't think this is high. I high. Think, yeah, see, I, I think these dudes are tripping. High, yeah. um, I just think he brings a lot to the table. That's why he was worth so many picks. That's why they paid him so much money because he's one of the best glue role players in the league. He's a 3 and D guy. He can hit shots. He can get his own shot at Swashed. times, too. Can't get healthy. He's never healthy. Uh, he played in the playoffs this year. Never, yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? And got hurt again. Hamstring. Yeah. yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, came oh, okay. in, he came in and played for like two minutes. But he no, I saw him play some games. With the oh no, he did. Yeah, he, no, did. he did. Like he I did. definitely they got a better version games. of a guy on his team. But yeah. he's going to be crucial to them. That he's going to be a starter. He's going to play 
He's gonna he hits threes. He guards the other team. Only corner defenders. threes, bro. Bro, only no. He, he, he hits other threes, yeah, and that's yeah, the on, e- and that's we'll a, see this the year. easiest shot to hit. So of course he's gonna take those a lot. Like he's he does a lot. Of, yeah, his numbers aren't gonna be there, but that's because he's asked to play a role. Like in Toronto, he had twenty point scoring games. He was doing a lot of stuff like that. He's just not as aggressive, but he can do all those things. And I think it's really invaluable. Th- thus, they pay him that much money. That's why everyone wanted him on their team because. He's going to be that dude that can guard the other team's best player, all defensive first team type of player, and he can hit threes whenever they need. He can get his own shot if he needs to. So underrated rebounder, in my opinion. I think he's one of the top 10 small forwards. I got him at eight. Mm. Facts. All right, so my number eight is where I got Franz. Uh, I know we already touched on him, but I think he's uh, one of the best up-and-coming players in the league. Uh, I think he's just probably a couple years from being – the league is stacked when it comes to like saying they're gonna be an all star, but he'll be like that caliber. I don't think he will. Fringe, I mean, maybe he's fringe all star caliber player. It's like Chris yeah. Middleton type of all star. He won't be like nah. He'll be he'll superstar be level all star. <laughs> saying like that's he's, 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 he's only good because be of his team, than Chris bro. Best years. Your team's good, but, and he's like a Drew Holiday type all star, bro. Like, no, nah, like he's the number two option on on a, on a pretty good team. If they, I think he could uh, rise up the, the list. A cat but, cat all star. Those uh, are the type of guys he will be. But yeah, we already for. touched on Franz. My number seven is OG. Uh, we already touched on him a bunch. I think that there's a reason that he, like Beth said, he was so highly uh, recruited. I guess they want like everybody wanted him. Uh, I feel like yeah, he's you, those plug and play, those glue guys are like some of the most valuable people in the pieces in the league right now. And mm-hmm. I feel like it's been uh, apparent the last few years. Yeah. So I think that he does fill that role. I think that him going to New York is what made them championship caliber. Uh, and obviously they added somebody, they added more people, but yeah, I think OG is going to still, the numbers won't be as good, but he's going to impact that team and potentially, uh, contribute to a winning, uh, a winning franchise. So mm-hmm. I agree. Right. Mm-hmm. What number is this? That was seven, seven, number seven. I got Brandon Ingram here at number seven. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, I mean, oh my God. I think, uh, he's a good player, <laughs> but a he, guy too, man. Yeah. I mean, I like him. He's definitely a good player, but. You know, he has trouble staying healthy all the time. Um, there's also been questions about his, like, fit in certain teams with, with Zion Williamson. It hasn't really worked out. I feel like he's good at getting a bucket. He's good at being an underrated playmaker, being, like, a third-type playmaker. Mm. But, um, you know, the defensive effort is not always there. The health is a question. I do like his game. I think he contributed on winning teams. I'm surprised that he hasn't been traded yet because I think if he goes to the right situation, he can flourish yeah. there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, shout-out to Brandon Ingram. I think he's... Here at number, was it seven? I think this is the right spot for him right now. Mm. At my seven, I have DeMar DeRozan here. I think, uh, like Omari touched upon, him being a number one option uh, with Chicago and not really hitting the mark there ever. And um, going to Sacramento, his numbers will be down. I think he's better than the options listed below because of what he's brought to the team the past few seasons. He was an all-star two years ago, twice, and clutch player of the year. I felt like that factor will be brought into Sacramento. And that's why he's there, to get a bucket, which he still can do. And um, I think he'll be reliable in that aspect and help the Sacramento Kings and do that uh, and finish games. And ultimately, they'll be better for it. So I have DeMar at seven for those reasons. Gabe. Who you got? Uh, at my number seven, I have listed Jimmy Butler. Because we have to add him onto this list. <laughs> all right, dude. No, all right, just all right, I'm not even kidding. Dude, I'm not even kidding. Hater, hater, I'm not even kidding. You can mute me. You can kick me out. Hater, Jimmy Butler's number hater, seven. Uh, Jimmy guy, Butler. Hey. Uh, how old is this man? Like 44? <laughs> he's a, he, he's Okay, let me just not even cap. I don't think Jimmy Butler is going into this next season as the top five small forward in the NBA. There's people who do uh, what he can do on both ends of the floor at a better position. They could play make better. They could defend better. They could score better. Uh, other than what Jimmy's fluke run was, I don't think we should fluke. be giving him the credit. What he, <laughs> he's done it twice. Literally, he's a fluke. Literally twice. Uh, he's a fluke. Uh, other than his fluke run in the last recent years, he is not a healthy player. He is not a gr- great player. He's not excellent. He doesn't like. He has had a great run. That is it. And we should not be talking about him as if he's some like. That's quite literally not true. Like top three, top <laughs> like, four, small. He's not like that. So he's, he's my number seven. Years. Yeah. Mm. Doing, doing what for years? He's playing. Playing. Wolves. playing Wolves. Here's here's what doing it is like. He was the best player on the Wolves. Here's, he was no, the best on, player on. on the Sixers at the Chicago. time. Chicago. He was the best player on Chicago. He was the best player. Uh, where is he last? Miami. Miami. Yeah. Okay. Like. All right. He's been the best player everywhere he's gone. It's not like he's just 
how good is soda run and it was like oh my god the only thing you can say you guys want to talk about that playoffs he doesn't do anything in the regular season and then it's a flip flop what you're gonna get you don't know if you're gonna get good Jimmy Butler you're gonna get great you don't know you don't know all star seasons how many has he had all star seasons he made it 2021 I think he made it should we check it yeah, we can check, check. check after 2020. And let's check how good those All Star yeah. seasons were, not based on team or based on number one player or whatever. What do you mean? Dude, I because it matters. You, Context, like I Drew Hall. I guarantee you, brother, the, whoever you have right above Jimmy Butler, his his worst season is probably well, like you recent can't, worst season is better than. Their you season. can't tell me Demar Derozan is better than Jimmy Butler. He's better than Jimmy Butler. No, he's. I'd rather what take Demar. I'd rather take Demar. He has four All NBA. So, who Jimmy Butler? No, five All NBAs actually, and five defensive teams. What is what was his all stars after twenty twenty? I'm trying to say it's for some reason I can't find the thing. Uh, after like, 2020, yeah. has a twenty twenty, he has a 2020 all star and a twenty twenty one all star. Twenty twenty one is last. So his his run was back in uh, Chicago, 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 and Minnesota. He had one in Miami though. So that's literally and then, the last couple years. What are you talking about? Miami. What I just said twenty fourteen to twenty eighteen. Talking about Jimmy Butler. Yeah. yeah. Twenty twenty one, he got all star. Twenty twenty, no, twenty nineteen, twenty twenty season, he got all star. That was bubble. Okay, and then what else? Then twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two season, he got all star. Okay. Nice. But all That's these awesome. ga- all these seasons, he's and barely he playing. Hurt. He's playing like sixty and less games. I don't like that. Last two years, he averaged twenty three and twenty one points. Yeah. And he made the playoff. He took his team to the finals. Twenty three and twenty one. Next year after. That is an that is subpar for like a top four, top five player. Did you, you not see what he did to make his, to get his team to the yeah, finals? Yeah. He shot forty one percent from three. You guys. You're just hating. Why? On two and a half attempts. What he's, do you do to you? he's overhyped. He doesn't what deserve he all the credit he gets. He does. He, I mean, he's, 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 he's like a one hit wonder. Right, bro, you want to be different when we get it. Bro. He's like a one hit wonder. You want to be different. And going into it, next season, he's going to be worse. We're like, we're like, what are you talking about? He's not going to be better. Who? He's already declining. He sucks. Who says DeMar's not getting worse? He sucks. DeMar will still say it like a 20 what, point What, bro? Per game he's literally... Just, okay. <laughs> DeMar will play at a 20 point per game rating. Don't pay him no mind, bro. He will. Say your next and one. And my bro. number six what is Mikael Bridges. Is that, six. Mikael Bridges is number six. Okay, but okay. That's, that's a good number six. Oh, yeah. Mikael Bridges played 82 games, as we all know. He's an Iron Man player. 24 and 4. 43%. For now, for now. 37% from <laughs> right, three. Th- ultimate 3 and D player. Going to the Knicks. Ultimate. Oh, my God. Limitless potential, I see. This guy's going to be way better than Jimmy Butler's going to have his season in Miami. And I could bet money on All that, right, too. stop talking about Jimmy. But <laughs> that is what it is. I have him at number six. I do love Mikael Bridges. All right. Well, I also have uh, Mikael Bridges here at number six. I think he's one of the greatest role players in the NBA. Plays his role to perfection. And, yeah. <laughs> he plays every game, plays his role to perfection, does Amazing what the defense. coach asks him to do, and um, gets, makes his players better by completing his role. I don't think the Suns would have made it to the finals without him. And um, I think... The Knicks acquiring him is a great pickup, and it helps boost their chances to be a, a championship level roster. Facts. And um, he only helps his teammates get better, so there's no reason for him not to be at this spot. Okay, at number what is it six? Mm-hmm. I got Demar Derozan here. Damn. I think uh, he's a good twenty to twenty five points per game every night. He plays every game still at his old age, so mm. I think you know he's gonna get it done in that sense he's an underrated playmaker you know he can get you a bucket whenever he wants he can get to the line efficiently the only thing that really is a question with him is his three-point shooting and it's not like he can't shoot threes he just doesn't do it but you know he's always going to be able to get you a bucket he's always going to be able to make a play happen so i think that's very valuable you know i think for you know i don't love the fit in sacramento so i'm kind of worried about next year particularly for him but as a player overall what he's done in chicago i think this is where he should be mm. I see that, but mm-hmm. for my number six, I also have uh, Mikael. I know we already touched on it, but he's just him. I'm trying to think of like when it comes to role players, like you think he's like this is the best role player uh, in terms of what he does. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. I feel he's like I don't know. There's stars that, that are right good there, role but, players. Like PG could be a good role player yeah. in what he does, but yeah, I get, I get what yeah, but Mikael, like he's like Ananobi. If Ananobi can score even even better, you know, yeah, what I mean? Drew is a good option too. Oh, uh, Drew is a good option, but yeah, so I think that. I almost want to put him uh, a little bit higher, but I want to see how things pan out next season too. Yeah, let's but see yeah, uh, I feel like the people above are like mostly number one options and stuff too. You know, mm. our top so, five then. Yeah. So for number five, this is why I have Ingram. Uh, I think that based on what he's done, I know that these these a uh, couple years in uh, on the Pelicans have been like a bit bit of a slump when it comes to injuries and just team uh success a lot of it has to do with zion a lot of it has to do with the team just itself just not being that good yeah but um i think that ingram still has a lot to contribute especially if he gets traded to a winning team or a good uh franchise and i think that he could still uh come in and and pump out hella points he is a good uh playmaker but he 
I don't think he should be a number one option anymore. No. But when was the last time he yeah. was number one option? Well, Lakers. I mean, he pretty much still is. <laughs> if, if Zion no, Pelicans. Pelicans. He was Pelicans a makeshift like, number one in the Pelicans. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. He Pelicans. wasn't supposed to be though. But yeah. he, he was. He was tasked to. That's yeah. What, that's what right. we're saying. So I think that he still has the skill set to produce, especially like a little bit more than the people under him. But we'll have to see where he ends up. But I think his skill set and his uh, the way he's played so far in his career like warrants him on number five. Yeah. Um. All right. What is this five? Yeah. yeah. I got Mikael Bridges at five. Um. Y'all too low. Not mad at it. Not mad at it. Nah. I mean, no. I was when when we were talking when Gabe brought him up. I almost wanted to put him above uh, Ingram. Yeah, I mean, I think he so, does everything well. On-ball yeah. defense, pull-up threat, three-point shooter, has a good feel for the game, you know, plays well within the system, within uh, with his teammates, you mm-hmm. know, unselfish. Like you said, he plays every game. He's going to do whatever is asked of him. So he's literally the prototypical. That's why I kind of joked about it, like best role player of all time. But he really is, is like the perfect yeah. role player in the modern NBA because yeah. he can defend the other team's best player. He can get you buckets. He can hit threes, a good three-point shooter, efficient, you know, Gonna do whatever's asked of him, taking pay cuts for his team as well. So, yeah. you know, I respect it. I think he should be a top five small forward because of that, you know, sacrificing for the sake of the team. So yeah. that's good. Add on to that point. I feel like players that are entering the draft or don't know who their roles or what their roles should be is like Mikel Bridges is like a prototype prototypical guy to look up to. Mm-hmm. Say like, oh, this is how I can survive in the NBA. Yeah. Because I can make as much money as possible nice. being a Mikel Bridges esque player. Yeah. Just buying in, yeah. yeah. The indie wings are like, yeah, like I said, like, they're like fucking gold. If you could be as much plug and play as you can be, you're gonna, you're gonna. He's get like a, the perfect person, like everywhere. you want to be in yeah, the NBA. Honestly, exactly. not enough press, not a lot of pressure, but you do what you're asked to do. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Uh, at my five, I also have Brandon Ingram. I think uh, his potential is limitless. It's always been limitless. Just I feel like he's never gotten the right chance to be put into a specific offense that helps him be who he's supposed to be. I feel like uh, with the Lakers. It, he was young, Pelicans, Zion situation, and what was going on there. I, I don't think he had enough help or how mu- CJ how much time was at the freaking Ingram. He's, 20, he's about to be 27 years old. It's not about, about his time a thing. It's about like, it's like putting him thing. in. Yeah, it's yeah, a situation. Thing. I feel like he, he has a lot of skill sets to uh, – his skill set is good enough to help a team win a championship. He's just never been on a championship roster – to be put in that position. CJ McCollum is your freaking point guard for the Pelicans, dude. Like, you're not putting him in the right position to see. And you have another fat guy who doesn't care about playing basketball. Dude, like, oh, they put Brandon Ingram in, not in the great situations. If you put him in with Cleveland, like you said, make that trade happen, and we'll see what he can do there because that allows his skill set to shine mm-hmm. with a, a point guard uh, center, yeah. and then you have him at the two. or th- not He'll two, be the sorry, dual man with Donovan. Yeah, Perfect. exactly. So... Uh, I feel like him being on the right roster if he gets traded is the reason why I have him at five. So that would be a tall ass. Well, I guess front court. Yeah, if he had Mobley, Ingram, and uh, a good length, good switchability. Yeah, uh, Mobley can go on anyone. Ingram, you love can, that length, huh? Can, oh hell yeah, I love that. Length. <laughs> it's favorite oh, hell part. Yeah, Jake's up. Still okay, MPJ, I still can't believe. <laughs> My it. number five <laughs> is Brandon Ingram. Uh, nice. pretty much said the same thing. I don't know. I think mm. three of us had the same person. So yeah, yeah. uh, you know what? Uh, what, what more can I say about him? He could do a lot of things. He could do them very well. Uh, his last year at the Pelicans was kind of, you know, iffy and mid. Uh, but a hopefully, fan. bad playoff series. He had yeah. a really bad playoff series. He's a fan of uh, little people. I mean, and we've seen Brandon Ingram when it's like, when he's the number one guy, all-star caliber <laughs> player. Yeah, Mario on do a roll lot. today. <laughs> and then uh, let's see what he could do. I mean, in the years to come, who knows if he stays on the Pelicans or if he's gone. Hopefully he gets in a better fit, as Usin said. But as of right now, Ingram is number five for me. Who's four? Uh, it's Debo. Number four is Demar Derozan. Damn, bro, what <laughs> he had a better is your season. List, he legit <laughs> no, like pound for bound, he had a better list. Than, he had a better season than Ingram. He played more games. He had better stats. He I like, agree, but like these like, guys, why are they so high? Bro? And no, I going into going into the only watch Kings, highlights. Going the into game. the going into the Kings. Facts, yeah, go, go cook, going cook, into cook, the cook, Kings, cook. he might have a, a new change of scenery. He might, you know, he might still do very good and help lead Fox to contending. You never know. But I like DeMar DeRozan. I like what he did in the last three years of his career compared to Ingram's last three years. I know DeMar's older, uh, but I mean, I am more confident in DeMar DeRozan right now than I am with Brandon Ingram. All right, this is where I, I have Jimmy Butler at number four. Oh, my God. This is fucked. <laughs> this guy. No, I got Jimmy Butler at four also. Yeah. No, I got Jimmy Butler at four also. <laughs> I think um, what he does and what he brings to the team is always, like, reliable. He always shows up when you need him to show up. Yes, the injuries could be a problem, but when he plays basketball, he's clearly a top five, top, top four, a power f- 
small forward. Yeah. My bad, bro. Mm-hmm. Small forward <laughs> in the <laughs> NBA. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think uh, he always scores at a high clip, leads his team to where it needs to be done, and Miami is a great fit for him, and he does what he needs to do. He what? He, he does. He, He's he, just chatting. He He's just always. Chatting. <laughs> He's just he always. Sc- great clip. I'm going I'm to save this. That way that he scores. All right, here I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. A take the handoff. So at uh, four, yeah. I got Jimmy Butler here too. I think he's an all-around player. He's a winning player. Facts. He sets the culture too. That's the reason he's yeah. such an important player. Yeah. Because as soon as he got to Miami, immediately they start making the Eastern Conference Finals, the finals year after year after year. It's because of him and because of the <laughs> tone that he sets Facts. and the things that he demands from the player. That's why yeah. not Facts. everyone could play with him. That's why the Minnesota players didn't get along with him and Facts. same with some of the Philly coaches. But. Mm. You know, it, Jimmy Butler is not a flavor for every single person, but you got to respect what he does. You know what I mean? Because he has proved to show results when he needs when they need him most. He steps up, especially in the playoffs. You know, yes, in a regular season, he could tend to lollygag and do his thing. But we're talking about players pound for pound, minute for minute. You know what, what I'm saying? matters most. Yeah, exactly. Facts. So I'm taking Jimmy Butler as easily a top five small forward in the league. So when he dropped Facts. 13 and 21 against like, you know, Playoff okay, games against what, did, Denver, what did Brandon Ingram drop against, last year, against, brother? Against in Denver the in the finals. Against Denver in the Show finals. Show me Brandon Ingram's finals, playoff finals, stats, bro. 13, finals. 21, no, no, no. 21. What are you doing the round to get them to the finals? Is he the number one best player? That's the top two team in Let the NBA. See, where was Caleb Martin at, bro? Where, where was he at? Where's Gabe Vincent at? <laughs> Not better than Jimmy. Hey, man. Hey, then why was Caleb Martin about to get the, what is it called? The fucking Larry Bird trophy? Okay, but he's not the best player on his team. All right. Did he get it? Anybody have a good run? For real, go ahead. But um, my four is uh, <laughs> Mr. Again, Mr. Scooty Bike himself. I got Scotty Ooh. Barnes. Huh? What? Yeah. Oh, my God. What? This list is cooked. You have an Jimmy, Isaac list today. Just say Jimmy. Just say Jimmy. <laughs> this is an Isaac-esque <laughs> list, bro. Nah, nah, Scotty Barnes Scotty is nice. Is not we met. Good. Oh, hell yes, no. he is. You're chipping. I don't even think he's a small forward, first He's not. I checked things. He's a small forward, I'm pretty sure. No way. Nobody had him. He's a piece of you think, are you serious? Power a twenty-eight and six is is not like that's insane. He's a power. He's forward. getting he's better too. Forward. He's not. First of all, he's not a, a small forward. He's a shooting guard. He's a small forward to me. No, he's, he's not a shooting shoot- guard. Oh, okay. But he's a he's, shooting he's guard. Not a small forward. He is a small forward. Him. No, he's not, bro. Bro, I'm looking at it right here. He's a shooting guard. Yeah, but he's not a small forward. That's all I know. I'm telling you. Okay. He's not yeah. a fucking shooting guard. I'm telling you, Momar, he's a shooting guard. All right, just give your explanation. Yeah, he'll be on the shooting guard list. He's he's young, but he's leading this team. Uh, to I mean, they're not. Is obviously the Raptors are kind of booty right now, but he's had a breakout season. Like I said, he's averaging twenty eight and six on almost fifty percent shooting. Team, bro. Yeah, I don't care. I think it's nice. So he plays so really nice. good defense. He, he's a, he's one of the players that he's good just all around. He's good on both sides. So I feel like he going into next season. Obviously, the team itself isn't that good, but I think he's going to continue to rise up and be at that level. Mm-hmm. But yeah. my number three is where I have Jimmy. Isaac Eskelis today, bro. That's Jimmy? not Isaac. That's, that's oh Cat. Bro, who is he missing, bro? He's missing. He's missing three. He's missing. Oh. He's missing, uh, well, we can't say it, but. No, I know who I'm missing. I'm no, it's either LeBron Kawan or uh, Le- Le- LeBron Brown. Kawhi yeah. or Jalen Brown. Brown. Yeah. What Kawhi happened, Omari? Yeah, who the fuck are you missing, bro? Who did you forget? It's nah, okay. I, I forgot JB. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. finals yeah. MVP? Well, I mean, because he's been a shooting guard damn his whole career. On the best so. team. No, fucking Scotty Barnes. He's been, dude, he's been a shooting guard damn his whole you, career. That's why you don't make these lists two minutes it. before we start. I'll fix it. It'll be perfect. Just kick dome. Jimmy Butler off your list. No. <laughs> Slide Brown into three. Oh, my God. You have the best list of the day. Best list of the day, bro. All right, I'll just go ahead and put Jimmy at four then since... A scooty bike is, uh, no. I guess, not a what's yeah, called. Yeah, okay, that work. Just swap, swap. Yeah, Scotty I'll just put Bar- Jimmy. Oh, wrong swap, wrong I'll just put Jimmy, and then I'll put uh, JB. So we got Jimmy at four, and we'll put JB at three. All right. All right. Obviously, I mean, y'all can talk about JB, but I got MVP, fuck JB. Right. I got Kawhi Leonard at number three. Oh, oh, wow. Damn. I'm gonna be honest, bro. The That's man's a good getting point. kicked That's off a good Team point. USA. Five fuck that nigga, J. I mean, fuck that nigga Kawhi. Hey, Mo. Hey, I'm gonna say this right now. Kawhi's knees are done for. Facts. He's getting. Uh, he's heading into a new arena with the team. No more Paul George. It's yeah. him and James Harden. More stats. They're going to rely on... Okay, more stats, but they got to rely on him more. And I don't know if you can trust Kawhi Leonard. He stayed healthy for the entire... Well, not the entire year last year, but he played most, most of, of the season and immediately got injured in the playoffs. You cannot rely on this dude. He's geriatric. Facts. He's losing mm. time. Like, he's one of those dudes that's on the downward trajectory. He only Jaylen averaged Brown, like 24. Jalen Brown has... 
coming off a finals MVP, Eastern Conference finals MVP, a ring, a champion. Mm. He's a better player right now than Kawhi Leonard wow. because he's more reliable. And I feel like a, as a two-way, as a two-way, if we put Jalen Brown on his own team, I don't see why he's that far off of what Kawhi Leonard's doing. Because Kawhi well, Leonard, if your life defend. is on the line, you're taking Kawhi Leonard to lead your team. No, I'm not. I'm t- t- in today in 2024, give me Jalen Brown because Kawhi doesn't even play defense like he's in that elite state. Like, Jalen Brown is a that's better defender saying. than Kawhi that's right now. That's what I've been saying, dude. Kawhi has been over it. Not, Bro. I mean, I'm not gonna but say that. But if you have to choose, the last couple years. The last couple, yes, the last couple Whoa. years, Kawhi has been hella overrated on defense. Like he obviously has good defense. He's been all NBA team this year. Did he not, man? Yeah, not defensively. I mean, he, his shooting gonna splits be are tellers. insane. I'm saying he's still a good offensive he, he, player, but he averaged 24 points. Everything else, Jalen Brown does better than him. Yeah. Besides the offense, and that's just by this much. Like it's not that. And Jalen Brown, like he's he's a better rebounder. But if we're going off, defender, if we're going off production reliable. too, like. Oh, bro. If we're going off clutch, I'm going to say to be nah, honest. Nah, bro. Bro. Nah, look, it's easy when you have Jason Tatum, Drew Holiday, Holiday Derek, Derek White. He, got, he, has a good not, he was the best player switch, on the team. If you, have, if, you, if you put Jalen Brown on the Clippers, they're not the fourth seed. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are. No, what? they are. Not in the West, see, bro. Yes, I think nah. he can do this. Jalen Brown's not leading that team. I no, think he's not. Yes, if, you want Paul George did. leading your team? <laughs> no, I think he's better than Paul George. He's not a, He's not going to be a leader of he's a better Paul leader George. of he's Paul George. He's a better George. player than Kawhi Leonard right now. Paul George will lead the team over Jalen Brown. Why is Kawhi's page down? Because he's fucking He's not even in the league no more. Yeah, he's done for You saw it too, right? I had the 404 also. I think it's just Air 404. Well, I'm telling you, it's a but sign, bro. Missing these. Missing <laughs> these. Kawhi Leonard. Jalen Brown is better than Kawhi Leonard. I'm going to stand on that. Kawhi Leonard is number crazy. three. Nah. Yeah, he was a he, great bro, player. I am he the averaged 23.7 yeah, points. Jalen Brown had better numbers than him, Yeah, bro. that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I agree, Kawhi. Like, you know, we want to talk He's on time. a better team. He had the best we team in the NBA. Are you guys like, nah. Nah. We want Damn to talk all time. Option. Bro, Kawhi Leonard is easily a better player offensively. Easily. Shoots no, better. Easily. Shooting easily. splits. When he's healthy, yeah, you, you rely, rely, rely on him more. This is easily. You can't rely on him. How, how are you going to rely on him? Shooting splits now. Jalen Brown could never do what Kawhi does for his team never. from a leadership standpoint. Never. Never. It doesn't matter, dude. Like, Jalen Brown's a bad player. How do you lead? He's a Robin. He's a Robin. Jalen okay, Brown's dude. Kawhi matter, Leonard is like... 35 and barely plays, bro. And he yeah. led his team to a fourth seed. Toronto Raptors. He's still Raptors. better than Brown. We're not talking about Toronto. No, he's not, bro. He made it to the All NBA. You're, you're, Where's Jalen Brown? Where's Jalen Brown on the All NBA? He got snubbed from it. Yeah, he got nope. snubbed. He did not, not like, get snubbed. He got what he, he did, deserved. Though. He really did. He got carried. That whole team got him to the finals, and then he won the finals. You guys are living in the past. You did. You were the same motherfucker saying Jalen Brown's the best player on the team, talking about oh he got carried to the finals. Shut up. When did I say Jalen Brown's the best player on the finals? You did. You were talking about Tatum saw, bro. Yeah, I'm Flip sure. Yeah, Don't look at it. We got Dylan. footage, bro. Where's the clip? <laughs> look, Hustle dude, the like, I, the phone. If, if Kawhi was still averaging his 27 points that he used to be averaging, why does that average 27? Why does 27 Because that's. What do you one mean? more three pointer, Amari. Why does that matter? One more three? No, why, why does, does that matter? Why does that Is a three point gap just a little bit? Why does it matter? LeBron averaged 27 points. Why does he have to have 27? LeBron does way more on the court. Who? LeBron. I didn't say Braun. Who did you say? Oh, you say all, always thinking about oh. LeBron James. Because it sounded like you said Braun. It literally sounded like you said Braun. I said Braun. You it heard Braun like too. Said, it sounded like, like, like you said Braun. That's what he wanted to hear. It sounded like you said Braun. And I looked at the board. I'm like, why did Braun get brought up? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm like. So why did, we're Jalen Brown. Why does Jalen okay, Brown have Because Jalen Brown, one, is much healthier, much younger, is more active on defense now, scores at the he same clip. Like, you're acting like Kawhi doesn't play no defense. He plays He's defense. old, bro. He has, to, he has to load manage, bro. Okay, like, but you're acting like Kawhi's right, like Let me read you below. stats, bro. Let me read right. your stats. He's just right. not as good Tell no me more. which player you'd rather have. Player A. This is a player A <laughs> last two seasons, okay? 22. Two. The last two. I'm gonna read your last two season stats. Because right? you're, you're gonna give me Jalen Brown's 27 point per game stats two yeah. years ago. Of course without, I am. But he didn't have KP or Drew Holiday. This is two yes. Th- entire Kawhi different teams. That's what he can do as a number one. Injured. And these guys almost got swept by the freaking Miami Heat that year. <laughs> Kawhi <laughs> Leonard didn't even play the playoffs. Yes, he did. No, he played one That's game. He, got and and he was magical. He was the best player on the amazing. court. Amazing. He was better than Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and all the other guys. You call him? He was even there. He was by himself. He thinks he's. They ACL and everything, bro. On this one guy, leg, bro. It's, this bro, ain't the NFL. The I needed four game fucking series. <laughs> All right, yeah, I agree with that point. That he's, he's never too healthy, too and Jalen Brown is healthy, and he's declining. But if I want somebody to go get me a bucket and do what I need to do to win a game, hey, and Kawhi. No, this is the thing. Kawhi Leonard left Team USA. USA meanwhile, Jalen Brown was mad that he was not on the team, bro. It's levels. <laughs> bro. Yeah, and why was Kawhi chosen on the team? Because he, skill. His Why skill was he taking better. off? Because his knees blow up in practice. <laughs> okay, and Jalen Brown was Derek White was chosen over Jalen yeah. Brown. You got Jason Tatum, Drew Holiday, Paul Latin. 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 They left the Finals MVP back That's in America. Politics. Can you believe yeah. it? It's not even about skill. He was That's the Finals politics. MVP. They left the
Shiver me timbers. <laughs> what is Kawhi Revenge season? 12 games played? Bro, he'll, he can average 27 next season. Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard with him and James Harden. He's going to be in a retirement home in 2025, bro. Kawhi okay, just yeah. played 70 okay. games. If they make it and to then the... he died instantly. Yeah. But he played him. So him. what was the point of playing 70 games? He played 70. Oh, but when he's not playing in the regular season, we can complain about that too. Yeah. Because he can't do shit right. Yeah. He can't <laughs> do anything. true. But he still is good. <laughs> Why the fuck would I be talking about it? But when it matters most, I'm picking Kawhi year. Leonard. Yeah. Are you picking Tracy McGrady on the Knicks just because his name's Tracy McGrady? No, his knees Tracy are Tracy don't have a championship, bro. Tracy never beat up. Tracy yeah. never had a playoff win. Are you picking Carl Malone on the Lakers? No. That's why you don't pick Kawhi on the anywhere. Clippers. Kawhi's an all NBA talent. And Why is this, this year? Jalen Brown's a finals MVP. They got left behind in America. That's a big That has nothing to do with Let him know, brother. Let him know. Give me the finals MVP over all NBA third team. Ooh, scary ass. At least he made an all NBA. At least he made all NBA. I don't Come care. On. I and won the a fucking ring and, and won the finals MVP. MVP. He has right. two rings he and has two finals MVP. I don't know. Jalen Brown catching up, bro. He about to beat her next Jason year. Tatum. We'll not, not as the number one. You mean Jason Tatum's catching up. And Chris Paul. He has zero and Chris Paul. And Derek White. And, 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 and Sam Howell. Howell. They don't have, <laughs> they don't have hey, the finals MVP. Sure. <laughs> Who got the finals MVP? Nah, hey, he's a Curry stand. That's why finals MVP don't matter to him. He has one. He has the same amount as Curry. Oh, oh, oh. Hop into other players to get you. Weak ass niggas, man. Dude, Kawhi, dude. It's 2024. Yeah, Facts. going into twenty twenty five. Okay, what are you doing twenty twenty three though? He showed he up. He was worse. Play, than yeah, he was worse. Who was he? He made all NBA better. team. Jalen Brown had better than twenty twenty three than him. No. That literally doesn't no, matter. No, he didn't. He, he had, had a better roster. Bro, what? put Kawhi Leonard on the put Kawhi Leonard on the Celtics. See what happens. Oh, they they drop. He doesn't Easily. play. They, they don't make the playoffs because they don't rely. They have other players. They don't even need Jalen Brown to go to the finals, bro. Yes, they do. They do need Man, Jalen this Brown. This guy, bro, y'all no, overrating him. It's off the name. The team is good. He doesn't play basketball. He was all NBA. Also, he's not playing. You can argue he's that his mean, se- you can argue that his he's uh, cooked he's cooked he's, he's in fucking Jamaica bro he might have a better season next year because no PG he's gonna have to have better stats yeah if they're a six seed he's gonna make the all seed he'll be an all star they're not he's, even gonna make the top playoffs. six they're not making the playoffs. they could no they're not they could I mean obviously every we know the Celtics making are making the playoffs yeah. we know. I wonder why let's we go down the names J T Drew Holiday who's the best player Derek White who's the best player on the team Tatum I don't answer that. I got him, I got him, I got him. I got him. He's a double question. He said, I'll plead the fifth. Derek White. It's Derek White. It's Derek White's best player. Derek White's the best player. All right, man. Because if I say one answer, I'm incriminating yeah, you my can't, You can't say Tater. That's all I know. Right. It's Derek White. It's Derek White. Yeah, Jalen Brown at three. And I have Jalen Brown at three. And Kawhi, too. Who's we, nigga? We got it. Me and Hus. Kawhi at three. Right here. This side. We rocking yeah. with this Kawhi side. Kawhi at three. They're not like us. JB at two. He's lucky right. he three. Well, we should, can, should we bow down to the GOAT? I am the clip. Should we bow down to the GOAT? Nah, not me. <laughs> what do you mean? You got him at one. my GOAT. He is the GOAT. He's number one. He's the GOAT. LeBron at one. LeBron at one. You know how many LeBron times is he... the number one no. small forward in the league? You know my sunshine, sunshine, my only sunshine. <laughs> you make me happy when skies are gray. Let it run. Have you ever oh, known? Oh my God, this is beautiful. Look at these stats, man. Is there a debate? <laughs> <laughs> All right, pause. You're gonna... He's about to know on the screen. He's not the 11 percent, right? Oh, cool. oh, no, that's crazy. Come on oh, now. <laughs> is there no? Is there a debate? No, nah, there's no debate. Uh, it's no, like no. I'm glad. Debates. I'm glad that Jaylen we got Brown to. Jalen Brown isn't close, so there's no debate. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad <laughs> that. Or uh, yeah. A lot of fraudulence are. Um, Forty years old, baby. Yeah, they're not even in the conversation no more. It's solidified. Bron is Bron still a top five player. Well, no, before before he was a thing with Tatum, he was on. Bron is still yeah. Bron is still a still a top five player just in general, and I think that's undeniable right now. He's at least five, if not one. But uh, yeah. When it comes to small forward, it's not even close. The small forward uh, list has kind of dwindled in past years. I hear Krispy Kreme. People keep people also around. keep moving around positions and shit. You yeah, know what I mean? Game is more. Yeah, positions. like a lot of people are the are power position. forwards that used to be small forwards because the league is getting a little bit smaller. Or shooting guards, bro. Yeah, a lot of shooting guards. Like people, he plays yeah, every they move position, around. Yeah, bro. He could be a that top is also 10 true. On every list. But I remember back in the day, we just knew a player and what position he was. He's top. He's, he's top three, no matter what position. Positionless basketball now. Yeah. No matter what position, he's top three. <laughs> yeah, we go, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Yeah. No, centers? He's not a center. He's not a top three center. He averaged 30 as a center. He's not a top three. He averaged 30 as a center. He's not a top three. He averaged 30 I'm as a staff. center. I'm Luke, I'm taking SGA. No, what the fuck? What? No. No. Who are you taking? I'm taking All, Braun. I'm, I'm taking Braun over all of them. Luca? It's too yeah, invaluable. Maybe Luca. Maybe not Luca. Steph. Maybe? Yeah, I'm taking LeBron over Steph. Nah, what? what LeBron does Steph is invaluable. Over the years, Steph has had more success than their later part in the seasons. After That's well, not what happened last year? Okay, you guys got eliminated. Oh, in the second, you guys won. Okay, but you guys didn't. Oh, make you guys playoffs. Didn't. Oh, we made it. We got a championship. What, the year I, what happened when LeBron <laughs> saw three rims against? <laughs> it's not a one-on-one matchup. What happened the year up? before that when Austin Reeves hit the half-court shot? LeBron's stats. All straight dominance L, by LeBron. L, L. 
We got a ring. So do LeBron, we. So do we, yeah. Where? LeBron, 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 bubble, LeBron, bubble. Mickey LeBron Alex. stats. Has LeBron stats are still at the <laughs> top of the <laughs> top level. You guys have a summer pool party ring, bro. All those guys fell off immediately after. <laughs> hey, man. It's it's a better journey. No, it's not. Why? What we is had, a better journey? No, the bubble was crying, from, bro. No, no it wasn't. Dude, the Clippers out here crying, quitting the fucking bubble. <laughs> yeah, like. I heard about that. That's crazy. Dude, we, we're getting First a documentary. Off, that is insane. <laughs> Y'all ain't getting a one of the better documentary. You're crying about leaving the bubble. I Literally, was talking, but I was like, I'm not gonna say who it was. Fucking PG, losers, probably. It was PG. It like, was Paul George. Kanye shit, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna say who it was. It was Paul George. Bro, have you been seeing all those quotes of PG lately with all the lies for every single team? He's like, bro, I don't know who he that. wants to Sorry, be. I never wanted to play for the Clippers. I was like the little brother. Like, bro, what are you talking about? Yeah, he <laughs> said that he was I a Clippers fan. I was playing for the B team. Life. It was the B team. <laughs> he said that when he got there, he was like, I was a Clippers fan my whole life. Oh, man, he's I worse than guy, he's, worse, he's way worse than Braun, honestly. No, he's worse. Because he Braun's lies also be like, don't even matter. You know what I mean? It's just like, why would you even lie about that? Like, why would you? Yeah. This is Braun. That's my favorite quote. Are you reading this book? Yeah. Uh, no, you know when he does the, you know when he does the shit, it's a fucking lie. Kobe's <laughs> well, eighty one. Oh yeah, that's my favorite quote. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, oh, I knew he was gonna. Yeah. He's like, I said yeah, it was gonna those be are just me. I knew he was yeah. finna have a good game. Yeah. It's I funny because I, I told him like Dalton, you are gonna be nice as fuck, bro. <laughs> I texted him. I was telling him, bro. I actually saw it. I was, nah, yeah. I, saw it. I think he said no, a football funny. one the other day, not like a month ago. Uh, my favorite it. LeBron clip is when he took uh, one of the Carter Jr. squad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm all talking He's like, what is he doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, LeBron just well, we can have like a top 10 LeBron clips one. He's a 20 year old athlete. Nah, dude, we, so we, can have a, we can have a five hour podcast yeah. just talking about LeBron. It's going to be a five hour documentary, bro. Man. Yeah, dude. Bunch of parts. I'm going to start. I'm going to cry during LeBron's documentary. I know you. When he retires, I'm going to cry. Best. He probably cries every day thinking about it. Oh, I wake up. Oh my god, my Pookie Bear. <laughs> uh, dude, look at this. Look at this. Look at this beautiful uh, clip that's playing. Show him, the graphic. Show every, the graphic. Everybody's hype about he him winning, fucking winning the fucking. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 dude, the shit he's doing on Team USA, the shit he's doing on the Lakers right now, mm. as a nearly forty year old, mm. he's never gonna decline. We, I think we should just. <laughs> I think we should just stop expecting him to decline. He's gonna do this until he retires. At this point. Unless he gets an injury, I don't think he's going to be uh, much worse than this. It's Luka, right? I heard 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 of My next best player? My next favorite player? Yeah. Kyrie or Luka, right? Well, no, like, okay, if we're going to, like, actually people I like. (laughs) I actually want to know this. I actually want to know this. (laughs) Yeah, it's probably Kyrie. But when I think about, like, who's the best player, though, that's that's different. Like The next generation, who's your guy? After Brown retires, who's the Glaze? Yeah. Best best player, I would say Luca. I would, I would bet Luka. Or oh, Wemby too. Wemby too. Ant Man or Wemby? Yeah. Oh, Ant's nice. I have too. so many. It's hard. Yeah, right now I have no. All right, we gotta chill what? out, bro. We gotta chill out, bro. Chill what do you mean? It's a glaze glaze project. Project. All right, I, I, I heard a question about Brown. I want to ask y'all this. What age do you think LeBron has to get to before like Bronny's better than him? Ninety nine. What? Age? what? Oh. Like, LeBron's, like LeBron's gonna be sixty and Bronny's gonna be like thirty. One hundred and thirty. I think. Yeah. Okay. At what age do you think LeBron, 101? when Bronny's going to be better than 60, 55, 60. 60. 60 year old, man. Because yeah, you, you have to old. 60 year old, not real. <laughs> bro, no, 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 60 year old, bro. Like, How old, old do you think will until LeBron can like not be an uh, effective be, basketball player? Because, ha- no. We're, All right. Bro, no add to this. Like, 48. 48, 48 where you'll be bad? Dog, he has No, hell like, no. He cannot be playing at 48. Like, at this level, and Bronny has I, I would say, like, mid-50s. It would be. I said 55, yeah. Bro, at 48, you can average 17 points in the NBA. Dude. Are you serious? Hustle, this is Certain the same guys. place. You know a lot how he takes care of his body. Yeah, spends right. how much money he takes care. Of. LeBron, Dude, he's not. He's a one Bronny of one would player. be thirty four. Bronny was a one of one human being. That's Bronny and He's a one of one human being. I know, but dude, forty eight is so old. Like you understand. Like, okay. And Bronny's barely playing the NBA right now. In, in How old nine is he? years, he's yeah. You he also got to realize Bronny is is like not a good player, like right compared now. to LeBron. So, so yeah, I'm, giving you, I'm giving you a four year. So basically, year until LeBron okay, now, like loses he has a the point control of his body, like, Bron- when Bronny's developed and that like. 30, what he could 30 be. 30 years old, maybe? Not 30. Developed at 30. 27 is good. I think 27 yeah, is a good year. No, but LeBron's still going to be like 40-some at, at, at when he's 27. Yeah, he's, LeBron's still going to be. 48. Play. He'll be 48. Off, of, off of pure, 48. like... I think 48 old, old LeBron is going to be better than 27-year-old Bronny. Wow, I hope not, but that's crazy. I feel like LeBron would have to be like 50-plus and be like, okay, he's too old at this point. Yeah, and then Bronny's like... Dude, but 30, when, you, 30, when you're yeah, 48, your stamina... It's, it's, I know you're 40. He's playing 40. I get it. Insane. But 48, like, lungs are going to be very... That's an eight years, guys. He will die. He will die. He actually... 
No, die. but like LeBron level of like fitness, like you know what I'm saying? Okay, so but still, like, okay, you can, you can, 48, again, LeBron if LeBron is, is playing trash, in the NBA, like, his heart might give out if he's 48. No, he's not. No, no he's not. 48? Yeah, he's a fucking 1% athlete, bro. Yeah, dude, you know, no, he's about literally about a one of one human being. Yeah, yeah like, what he the can't fuck? control his heart, though, bro. Dude, what are you 48 is not old. 48 isn't old. So if you're playing basketball at 48, you're going to die. Real life. Bro, Bill Russell was fucking 90. He's an all NBA player. He's 6'11. He's not going to be all NBA. Okay, so say. If he was playing in the NBA at 48, what would he average? He can't. He's not going to. What would he average, though? <laughs> he, zero. He's not playing. Obviously, he won't play. Oh, you want me to give him a number? But, dude, 48 player. But he, he can go to LA Fitness. 10 points a you game, go to bro. LA Fitness and see people like play 10, at 48 years 10. old, bro. I, can, I see six-year-olds play at LA Fitness. Yeah, he can't be the same at 40 is what I'm saying. Like, he's going to be. Okay, we didn't say that. We just said better than Bronny, bro. He doesn't have to be the best piece to be better than Bronny. Yeah, he's dead at 48. Yeah, like his entire body is deteriorating. What are you talking about? Dude, there's 48 people in tip-top shape. Like, He's 48. 48 is an old number. If he takes care of his body. UFC fighters that are 48 right now. No, they're not. Dude, Anderson Silva was in his prime at 40, bro. No, yes, he, he was. was. He lost at Bro. 40. No, he didn't. This man's 40 years old right now. We're Pereira's saying the best 38. small forward in the NBA. He's, not, he's 40 yeah. years old right now. And we're he's saying the, the best small forward. A top five player right top now. Player. And he's going to go down at some point. 40, okay. Okay. Yeah, but he's not going to get worse than Bronny. He's not going to be like in a wheelchair, bro. Like, at 48, he'll still <laughs> be better than... He's not going to be able to move like that okay. no more. At 48 years old, he just has to be better than... At 48 years old, how... How like much better do you think he is than most of the world? What percentage? World? The world, yeah. everybody, like everybody most world. anybody who's okay. there, like, like most people. of the people. Anyway, Bronny's only in the NBA because of his dad. No, okay, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. It's true. Bronny's 27. If Bronny's 27, I hope that he's a capable 10 point per game player that he could beat his father in so a one on one. Dude, Bronny can average 10 points per game at 48. Dude, Bronny, like his game I don't is think predicated. He no, he, nah, no, his game, he's, like... He's too old, bro. No, he's dude, not going to play, but he could do it. I remember like, somebody no, saying that. He if he old. prepared his body for one year at 48, he could play in the league. I remember league. someone saying, too old, bro. At, like, at 48 or whatever age, Bron can play a dream on green roll in the NBA. Yeah, dude, 100%. 100%. Easily. There's NFL quarterbacks at, like, mid-40s, like, playing Tom in the NFL, bro. Joe but, Flacco, like, Brett Favre, yeah. like... Quarterbacks? Yeah, Aaron Rodgers is 40 too. right now. Quarterbacks just take damage. They don't, like, do, like... like. Like, dude, football is a more physical sport. Yeah. 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 The what did I just too, say? Yeah. I just said they take damage. Like exactly. I literally said that before. And they're you... mid forties and NFL. That's what so I just point. said. I, I didn't finish my point. I cut oh, off. Right, okay, cool. I said football players take a lot of damage. I understand that, but like as in, okay, when you're an NBA player and you're LeBron James and you have to defend, jump, shoot. Uh, drive into people's chests. He's going to defend right now. Yeah. Huh? He, he doesn't even defend, defend right now. He just yeah, he needs to fucking he does one on one with his son. He doesn't need to fuck. He doesn't need the number one option on a championship team. He just has to pick his spots. He just has to beat his son in a one on one. Nah, dude, twenty seven year old Bronny's gonna be better than him. I don't know, bro. Maybe twenty five year old Bronny. No, this is twenty five year old Bronny might beat him too. Come on. Look, in in all, I hope I hope Bronny develops into a player that can be better than Bron at forty eight. Of course you do. But yeah, but it's like tough, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Like LeBron at forty eight. Dude, forty eight. Dude, Obviously, I remember Michael Jordan, the Hornets players were saying that he would challenge some of the rookies one on one and beat them at, at like 48 yeah. or 50. Like he yeah, was yeah. he was still good enough Bro, to play. This is a guy that we're saying is the number one or number two of all time at basketball in the world well, of ever playing the basketball game. Plus, give me a number. Just like 52. I like said 50, 48. Just 50. I say, yeah, 48 or 50. I say 55. So you agree with me? That 50 at 50 you can beat him. Yeah, you agree with me. Like, what do you mean? So you think 48? 48 to 50. Like I oh. agree with that. And what's your what are you arguing? I said 40 from the jump. Wait, you're saying that Bronny can beat him at 40? Yes. Do you think that is that? Well, you're like saying, oh, he could beat him earlier, too. Like, I, I said he really might. I don't think I, said 40 40 I think Bron will win at 48. I think you argue me for that. I think Bron will win at 40. Like 55. I, no, yeah, 50 no. plus. No. I think 50 plus. That's plus, insane. Bron's game, if, if you want to talk about him playing in the NBA game, his game, obviously, in a lot of ways, is, is predicated on athleticism. But his IQ and, and shit like that, yeah. and his yeah. shooting is only getting better as he gets older. Like, his, mm. his game is still going to be like. Probably more viable than Bronny, uh, at least statistically or like um, probability Impact, wise. Yeah. Like I hope, aside from probability, I hope that Bronny does get better than that. But the likelihood of him being better than LeBron, even when LeBron is forty eight, is still low considering who LeBron James we're giving, is. We're giving LeBron a steady decline, but we're accounting like what uh, steady Bronny's decline? Like though? no, like let's say. For example, this is just a hypothetical number. It'll he gets he gets five to eight percent worse every year, like a marginal, right? That's that's way too much. Too it much yeah. every year. Bro, it compounds five percent. You get older, it compounds. It's like the same concept. He's barely he's like normal. It compounds. Yeah, he's I not normal. That's the not point. 5%, like percent, one percent, two percent. Yeah, I'm like it barely even gets the same, bro. Right, so Dude, he's not he's not normal. Yeah, he's not, I know, but Hudson, he's like a as you get game. older, as you get older, this is forty or forty years old, averaging twenty five or like twenty. Listen, if he retires at forty two, then like he averages twenty five point seven, seven point three, eight point three, fifty four percent. Forty year old man. 
It's and shot 40%. Of course it's not normal. You saw what Vince Carter was doing? And he shot 40% from three. Carter plays with I agree with yeah. you. And he was still averaging like nine points a game. Exactly. I agree you think with LeBron you James at 48? But the older you get, the, like, the worse it gets. Like, it's you're, you're barring like, injury. Dude, you don't go from 45 to 46, to 46 like and lose your ability to walk, not a, bro. Not like, for him. You're not even a human being. 8 to 10 makes sense. 50 year olds work out and bodybuild still. Like, this guy can be in shape and at 48. The only reason I can agree with the only reason I see your. But we're not giving Bronny, like, a sporadic increase? No. Yeah, Brian we're saying one percent of not guaranteed. Like a Physic, f- physicality, it's not guaranteed. Like, he'll that's why. Be, like faster, stronger than LeBron. You're saying he might be six two his whole life. Here's like this. Here's but what I'm saying. Be faster than him. At, Listen to this. LeBron is fifty years old. Listen to this. That LeBron can still be yeah, better. When someone's twenty seven, he should be. Listen to this. Is the fastest player the best player in the league? That's his peak physique. Listen to this. If LeBron is a sixty five overall right now, and nine years he's sixty nine, do you think that's real? He's gonna be like an eighty, eighty five, something like. Hell no. He's gonna be like a seventy five. He could nah, be. And maybe LeBron that. will be could 75 be an by then too. He could be know? an 82. But like, we're not accounting for sporadic shit, increases. We're just we're just calling him shit and he's going to stay shit. And no, LeBron's just going to be. He's going to get better, but I just don't think he's going to get that much better. Like, I just think from a physicality standpoint, LeBron is yeah, going to be Yeah, he'll, he'll grow into his body. Yeah, he'll get faster. Right. But like, he's not going to, he's not, I don't think he's going to be like, oh, I'll turn into a different 50. player. I'll yeah, 50, 50. That's a good good question though. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, it's I'll different because the our our analysis would go from one on one scenarios to in game scenarios. Yeah. Like LeBron in an NBA game, it'll still impact. It's like is yeah, it's he could like be Draymond Green till he's fifty. It's literally yeah. like an astronomical, yeah. astronomically different uh, aspect than playing one on one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, if you're playing one on one with Bronny, he can just tire you out if you're 40, 50 years old. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? But if it's an NBA game, there's so much more that impacts the game, like his playmaking ability, like his. You know what I mean? Well, you I can't show off leadership. playmaking ability in one on one. Yeah. There's no way Bronny's leadership will ever be at LeBron James' level. Yeah. yeah. So if LeBron, LeBron doing Draymond Green role at, at 48, or Bronny averaging like 10 points at four, at, at 27, like who are you yeah. taking? NBA, I might take LeBron. NBA will take LeBron. Yeah. So, yeah. so it might be till he's 50 plus. Leadership. Better. What you bring to a team yep. from like, uh, from what you like portray from marketing. your actions, marketing also like. <laughs> so I'm saying marketing. Like, what? That's funny. Hey, hey no, value marketing is funny. It's but valuable. Yeah. Look, marketing. Okay, yeah. but but you're talking about a game. Yeah, yeah. Keep it, okay, keep it it's onto like, the game. He's trolling too. Yeah. No, it is no, serious. I'm serious but, yeah, serious hell. Yeah, no, okay, but, but focusing on the end cool, game. Bro. Focusing, <laughs> focusing right, on the end game. You bring in fans, bro. You bring in like. Don't even continue this. It's true. He's trolling. Okay, but we're talking. The, the marketing he person, control, I, if not. we're looking at little things, marketing does like marketability look, 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 matters. Like, in a game, look, 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 yeah, look, in a game, it's more exciting to watch you. <laughs> you guys matter. are real. Are you trolling me? <laughs> what do you mean, market, marketing in a game? <laughs> what does he mean? You bring confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Having LeBron on your team with marketing and bringing more uh, media attention brings confidence <laughs> to your team. And the players. Bro, we're talking about facts. them in the that's game. Hilarious. Why are you continuing the marketing part? Nah, that's facts. Dude, that's facts. You, get you get paid more. You get paid more. Bro, you got it. Bro, he markets the game. You play, yeah, yeah. You, you play better, yeah. You play, you play better when you need to Would you rather play with Zach Eady oh or, my God. or fucking LeBron James? Exactly. Exactly. More bro. confidence, bro. But I'd rather play with Reed Shepard. Nah, that's hilarious, though. All right, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm cooked. I'm cooked. Yeah. Blocked by James. <laughs> Blocked by James. Marketing, marketing at its finest. <laughs> nah, I'm real, bro. I'm re- marketing matters, bro. In the league, it does. Marketing and confidence. Yeah, okay. It doesn't matter on the when you bounce the ball and put in the hoop, but like it matters, like in, in a team. Yeah, team setting for sure. But yeah, so LeBron. That's the that's that's the conclusion. All right, that's the that's <laughs> Ten, for the tenth time. Today. That's the end of the episode. <laughs> I don't see Michael Jordan son of the NBA. This is the uh, LeBron Glaze or Omari Glaze LeBron episode, pretty much. You mentioned sorry, LeBron. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Every... Photoshop Omari on LeBron's body. For <laughs> <be> so <laughs> LeBron's body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, do that. Go ahead, do that. I'm gonna Photoshop LeBron. I mean, Omar sleeping with LeBron blankie. And like, oh, oh, the, the cash. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have that picture of my phone somewhere. Like, Dick Ruddy crazy. The race car of LeBron. The Dick Dick Dick. Yeah, yeah. The Dick Ruddy. Is Dick Ruddy all you do? <laughs> oh, man, oh, is Dick Ruddy all you do? Yeah. <laughs> no, like, you literally got that nigga Dick in your mouth right now. I see it. Uh, all, right. all right. That's a wrap for the episode. Le Make sure you drop a like. <laughs> drop your. Uh, your own small forward list in the comment section. Power forward list. And yeah, I guess power forward list because yeah. you didn't see that episode. And who had the worst list and why was it Gabe? Okay, let us know. Nah, not me. I guarantee you the comments are going to be flooded oh, with Omari's you guys. list was bad because he didn't plan it, but he kind of fixed it up, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but it's, yeah it after sense, Scooty Bike. After Scooty Bike, it's fine. Yeah, Scooty. But this guy, MPJ, get the fuck out of here anyway. <laughs> Jimmy at seven. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, Jimmy fuck stinks. <laughs> fuck Jimmy Butler. We out, bro. We out. Peace. Drop a like, baby. <laughs> <laughs>